this guy. Okay, y'all. What's up, everybody? Yo, my bad. I fell. I totally fell asleep at the end of Sonic Mania there in my chair. But uh, we have Mr. Big John coming up. Big John, how are you doing today? What? Um, I'm here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Are you, are you excited for your link to the past? Yeah, I'm about a good body. I'm gonna show y'all why you should never play this game. Awesome. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to say about the run before we get into it? Um, so, um, we're gonna let you all pick my character. Uh, I'm sure you all, most of y'all being Sonic people, want me to play a Zelda anyway. And, um, yeah, it's a randomizer. And to make it more fun, we're gonna randomize all the enemies too. So, who knows what I'll have to fight. So, fun stuff. And we're gonna save Ganon. No, who we save this game? Peach, Zelda, some chick. So, that's what we're gonna do. Word. And I like how you have the layout set up too. That's uh, pretty nifty. I know, see? Innovative. Yep, very innovative. Well, alright, man. I am, uh, I am gonna go ahead and count you down whenever you are ready for a countdown. This is actually a countdown for Fat Bite to go back to sleep. You realize that, right? So. <laughs> I am gonna be taking an hour nap so I can provide, a, you know. Good quality stream for the rest of you guys. And yeah, man, uh, whenever you're good to go, I am good to catch you down. Oh, wait, maybe I should actually generate the seed first then. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, let me do that first here. Okay, so uh, we're going to generate a game here. All right, chat. Uh, who we gonna play as? Who does the chat want to play as? We got tons of you know, but we're just gonna play as Sonic. Let's keep it easy. We're gonna keep it easy. Play as Sonic the Hog Hedge. Y'all wanna play as a Sprite Can? Hmm. All right. Well, we'll do that. All right. So we're gonna play as um. Sank the hog hedge here. <laughs> There's no one else more important, I don't think, anyway. So let's see. Sonic the Hedgehog. S O N I C. Oh man, they added Homer Simpson. I didn't realize they had Homer. That is pretty cool. Yo, let's play as Homer to Homer to Simpson. That's a newly added sprite. That's kind of cool, actually. Alright, y'all, let's go. So we're gonna get this going and let's see here. By the way, we're gonna have some custom music here for you all. I mean, here's some stuff that you've never heard before because it's pretty high quality and all that fancy dancey stuff. Because you know, only the best for Fat Body Stream, right? Thank you. All right, I think we're about ready to count down in just a minute here. Word, for sure, man. And again, thank just you. Just about being ready part to count down here. Of the fundraising, we've already raised a good amount for the homies, and see. Yeah, we're helping everybody get to GDQ, so. Yep, to them games on quickly. All right. Man, look at that sprite. All right, man. All uh, right. We all set. All right, man. Well, I'm going to count you down, and then I will get out of here. I'll be back uh, in roughly about two hours or so. All right, so three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right, man. Thanks, yo. All righty, here we go, yo. All righty, here we go, yo. Uh, um, let's play some games, shall we? I'm just gonna chill. Now it's my stream. Now it's my stream. Let's go. Alright, so for those who've never seen Link to the Past Randomizer, um, we are... We've gotta beat the game. That's the goal. To beat the game, save Princess Peach, or Princess Marge in this case, I guess, or something. Um, but we don't know where anything is. Alright. And we don't know what dungeons we need to clear either. So, look at our map right here. For those who've never seen a Link to Pass randomized before. Uh, look, it looks better. It's closer to home than I could draw. Let's put it that way. So, we have to get all seven crystals in the game. Okay, get all seven crystals. We can go to Ganon's Tower and all that good stuff. But we're on the Enemizer, so we randomize all the enemies. And, of course, if you notice that we have, um... If you're familiar with the game Link to the Past, we've got a crystal over there on the Eastern Palace, which is traditionally our first dungeon. 
there's a crystal on the tower up here on the top, and then the bottom right is desert, which is actually a red pendant. So, but of course, part of the randomizer is we don't know where anything is. We don't know where our items are. They've been shuffled all throughout the game, so we don't know when we're gonna get a sword or any kind of weapon. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is kind of go here and escape and see what we can pick up here. That's what old man has here. He's got ten arrows. All right. Remember, y'all, for those who are watching my stream, go to Fat Body Stream. Oh man, don't touch me. All right, so I guess that's gonna be my first quote weapon, which is not much of anything of significance. So, um, but yo, thank you all for all that. But make sure y'all go to Fat Body Stream if you're on my stream. That way I can actually see you. All right, so nothing much there, and uh, of course more health. Yeah. All right, so we're going to keep on going here. So far, not really too much of importance here. Man, look at that. Look at that. Oh, let's see what you got here. Oh, man, he did. Dude, look at his homer, man. Look at those. You know, that's kind of funny. When he's walking, he actually looks straight at you. He doesn't actually look left or right. He just continues to look straight. That's kind of interesting. Uh, all right, so now the fun thing about this category because we have Intermiser is that I don't know what bosses we're going to fight. So all the bosses in the game are randomized. Basically everything except Ganon. Now, let's do something free here. Let's see if we can get some. Uh... So he just explodes and dies and no one really cares. This is two different channels, so again, this stream is being, my stream is being reached on Fat Body Stream, so I'm, I'm trying to focus on the chat there. I mean, I do have four hours, so I can look at both chats twice, so it's all good. But I'm, I'm, I have them both open. Nuclear, thank you so much. Thank you so much, yo. But hey, make sure you all go to Fat Body Stream, click on that donation link so you can help get four people to raise the money to get four knuckleheads so Summer Quickly Game's done. So they can get their runs in, yo. Or not get their runs in so they can need to perform their runs. No, no. All right, so let's see. Hey, someone has dropped a sword on the ground. So we do have our legitimate weapon now. Is Fat Body Stream family friendly? Um, no. Imagine, imagine Eddie Murphy Raw as being a G-rated stream. Yeah, that's a complete. This is the complete opposite on Fat Body Stream. Yeah. So if you feel like saying phrases and words like mayonnaise, pineapple pizza, don't let me hold you back. Yeah. Can I say the slang word? You know what? Let's do it. Why not? While we get some items here, Alexa, play the slang word of the day skill. Today's slang word of the day is Hundo P. It means 100%. Here's how you use it in a sentence. Do you want to stay home tonight instead of going to the movies? Hundo P, let's watch a movie on demand. If you're enjoying your slang word of the day, check out your dictionary's Spanish word of the day skill. Find and enable it in the Alexa app by searching Spanish word of the day to start learning. Yeah, what a variety. Hundo P, because we verbally always say that. Hundo P. Man, bro needs some bombs here. There you go. So, um, right now, this is kind of the early part of the game. Typically in a randomized, we kind of go through this because we try to build our first little inventory, per se. Um, I don't have the tracker command like I, I normally have on my stream. Ooh, that's cool. I can see in darks, in the dark rooms there. Um, but I usually have a, a tracker that shows you where I have and have not been because there's a total, for those who don't know, there's 216 locations you can check in the randomizer. And the items are scattered all throughout those locations. And, of course, um, as I find items, I gain access to other areas and all that good stuff. So we're going to go back here and... Take care of this last spot here, just in case there's something good sitting up in here. 
Up in here, up in here. Yeah, if you wanted to donate to the cause, you first of all, make sure you're in Fat Body Stream. That's where all the action's happening. So that way you can uh, make sure your money goes towards there. Now, if you want to donate to me, well, hold on to your monies. We'll arrange a payment plan later for that one. Oh, God. Uh-oh, this is not comfy. Oh, boy. So you buy it yourself. No, this is Homer the Simpson. I mean, I guess it does kind of resemble Howard the Duck. Ow. Nice music. All right, you back up because the bro needs some bombs here. So since we have the money, we're going to go get these. Now, we don't really have too much access to do much. I'm not sure why I walked that way for. Um, but we're kind of just going to take care of all these checks here, walking around Hyrule and all that good stuff. Yeah, I really don't want those. Arrows are nice, but they're pointless without a bow. Um, I don't know about that one, Harvey. I would imagine for ease of payment, that uh, I'm sure that tips would probably be preferred just to support, but I'm sure they both help out overall. So, of course, that item right there is boot slop. We don't have them, but we don't really care. So, uh, bump that. And over there is more bombs. So, pfft. So, we're going to save and quit now. And uh, we're going to continue our exploration here. Um, so right now, we have the ability to... We can't clear any dungeons yet. Uh, well, we may be able to. Uh, we may be able to clear Eastern. Eastern Palace is a crystal, one of our seven that we need. Um, one thing about Intermauser is that since the enemies are randomized, normally there's a requirement to have the bow. Because there's an enemy you can only kill with that bow. But in Intermauser, the enemy is randomized out, so... And with me having a lamp, technically that puts that whole dungeon in logic right now. But, before we tackle that mess. So again, for those who are watching my stream, yo, check the title. Head over to Fat Body Stream where all the action is over there, over yonder. That's where all the, all the, 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 the creamy feeling is, the... The, the nice big piece of chicken. Alright, so far, not getting too much progression stuff. I mean, the lamp is cool, got a sword. Now, the cool thing about this, or maybe the uncool thing about this, is that because we're an animizer, I can get to the boss of Eastern Palace, but I don't know what boss it's going to be. And of course, right now, in my current state, I can't beat all the bosses. So, we may have to end up double dipping some dungeons because of that. Maybe even triple dipping. Who knows? Okay, bump y'all. Wow, they literally just walked off and killed themselves, making my life easy. All right, so we got five items here. Let's see what we can pick up here. There's the flippers. That's cool. Uh, bombs I can't use right now. Master Sword. Well, the real hype cave is actually in Light World here. So, you want me to explain Link's of Past Vanilla? I would if I knew it. Spoiler. Over half the people who play this game have never even played Vanilla. If you ever watched the Link's of Past Random the Tournament, literally most of those people have never even played Vanilla. They don't even know where Vanilla stuff even is. <laughs> Their first time even playing this game was a randomizer. So, someone is someone is telling me my commentary is bad. Of all the people who speedrun, telling me my commentary is whack. Yeah, I'm gonna go slash some tires when this is over here. Yes, uh, people on the restream should be watching because the fundraiser is on their stream in the first place. So you should be there if you're not even here. That's where you should be at all. 
You know? Uh, and I would tell you the normal game, too, if I knew it. Yeah, if you want more details about the normal game, um, you should go watch um, speedruns of it, of the normal game. Unfortunately, in the world of randomizers, some randomizer runs are almost nothing to do with the vanilla. So, sometimes you spend your time explaining the vanilla game where people are like, huh? You know? So, we're going to take a glimpse there. There's just a little thing there. But, but for those who are paying attention earlier, we've already explained the crystals and stuff in the vanilla game. So, <laughs> for those who are paying attention there. You know, we already explained about the crystals versus pendants here. So if you do have a question about the randomizer, hey, feel free to ask. That's why I'm here. Because I can't read your mind, and I want to overwhelm you with information. It's a lot to process as it is. All right, we don't really want that. All right, so we don't quite have enough for... We don't have enough money for Zora right now. So... Eh, we really can't do that, so... We're going to take a chance and see if we can take care of Eastern Palace. So Eastern Palace, again, as I just mentioned, um, an animizer is clearable, assuming I can beat the boss. So we're going to see what we can do here. All righty. Did it come? I don't, want to, I don't want to throw my back out, Christian. You know? And I want to have kids one day. I want to throw my back out. Then, uh, all right, so we're going to go over here to our boy, Hashira, 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 and uh, check out his back room and see if we can find some good back here. Three items here, we don't know what they are. Money's another. All right, Moon Pearl's a good find. So the Moon Pearl is a pretty required item in the random miles, no matter what. You got to find that, no matter what. Um, so normally in this game, um, there's a point in the game when you have Dark Road access. So this whole world is mirrored in a dark form. Um, but unless you have Moon Pearl, you're stuck in what they call the bunny state. In the vanilla game, when you go to Dark World, um, you're in a bunny form. You can't do anything besides walk inside of buildings, but you can't swing your sword. You can't open chests or anything. So the Moon Pearl basically gives me complete ability to swing my sword, interact with all objects. So always going to be required. So. So, um... In this particular mode here, um, we do have what we call pot shuffle. So in rooms that have a switch or a key that's under a pot or a skull, uh, they can be shuffled to another place somewhere nearby. So another pot, another skull, even in an adjacent room. So I'm going to pick up this money here because uh, we do need to pick up any money we can find for Zora. So, um, one thing about this dungeon, for those who don't know about Randomizer, um, in the normal modes of Randomizer, there are a certain number of items per dungeon, okay? So, if you were to remove out any items such as the maps, the compass, and the keys, all the other things would be the items you find. So, here in Eastern Palace, there are three unique items to find, okay? Um, so, anything that's on a map, key, or compass, and that is one of them right there. Now... Two of those items we found in chests, and of course, the boss can have something. So normally in vanilla, you know, like most Zelda games, you beat a boss and it drops a heart container. But that's not a guarantee here. The heart containers that you just saw are part of the entire item pool now, so we don't know what we're going to get. Um, I'll help. Thank you for that, that host there, but make sure, go host, go host Dr. Fatbody. Let me go host the... The channel we're raising money for. All right, let's see what we got in here. So, another heart. So, right now, we don't have the big key. So, we have to swing by. And here's a hint. So, this is a part of the animizer, or the randomizer. These little tablets can give you a hint as to where something can be found. So, it tells me that some bombs can be found um, requiring a special to unlock. So that refers to what I call Chester, the purple chest. So I know that that item is not going to give me anything significant to beat the game besides just some bombs. So as far as my tracker is concerned, we're going to go ahead and mark that off. So 
Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Let's just relax on that, man. I don't need you know all that, man. This is raising money to help people get to SGDQ. Yeah, I, we we understand. We heard you the first time. We got you, man. We hear you. Don't want to donate. Thank you. You are you are supporting people who are trying to go to GDQ SGDQ 2019 to attend and perform their runs. If you want to do that, then hit that donate link. If you don't want to, then sit back, relax, and enjoy the stream. Yeah, no. Never knock charities because they are going to GDQ to raise money for charities. So, there's a whole lot of people we need these days who sometimes don't have the means to take care of things. So, if you want to help people get there to help people that may be affecting people like me and you. So, well, if you don't like that, then I, you might not want to be in the stream. Yeah, so, you might not want to be in the stream then. Uh, well, we are raising money to help you get HDQ. And if you are anti HDQ, this is not the stream for you to be in. All right, so let's we can find where the enemy is. So one enemy here has the key. I gotta figure out where he is. Probably this knucklehead. No, not ain't him. Where is he at? Oh. Well, that's not fun. Wow, well, I, I got bite over in the corner. All right, so anyway, we want to see what we can get. Oh, I don't want to get the bite there. Yeah, I got a key. I'm just seeing if y'all paying attention here, see? All right, bump you. We're going to go over here. Now, of course, the problem is we don't know what it, what boss we're going to have, so we'll have to figure that out. Skeletor's over here block, blocking the door. There we go. Thank you, thank you all. I appreciate it, y'all. I appreciate it. Alright, so we're going to find out if we can actually clear this dungeon in just a minute here. The boss is two rooms away. And we'll find out. A little scared of this room, though. This will be a mess. It's not too bad, though. Oh. Alright, y'all. Guess the boss. For those who know your your link to the past bosses, what boss do you think is gonna be in this in this room here? I know everybody wants to try next. I know you you all just don't care. Oh, this is actually pretty easy. So Mothula, as long as you got a sword, life is cool. Assuming I don't die. We're, we're not trying to. We're not trying to die here. And I'm a little bit low on health. So, there's our last item, the burrito. We don't care about that. And that is our first crystal. So, we are one-seventh of the way to taking care of saving Princess Marge. Alrighty. So, that's cool. So we're gonna go ahead and move out of this area here. Uh, now, we still have some more places to check um, prior to being forced into what we call our Aga 1 climb. So, typically um, in the vanilla game, the first three dungeons are your pendant dungeons. You get those and then you're forced to go through Hyrule Castle and fight Aga 1. We do a little sword, little tennis match, um, and that will then give you access to uh, Dark World. But um, depending on how items drop, we can gain access other ways. Uh, if we can find the hammer um, or a glove, we can have access to that. But right now, we don't have that yet. And uh, we're going to actually save and quit here. We don't have a glove upgrade, so we're a little, little low right now. Remember, you all, in my channel, make sure you go to the link in the title. Go there, go there, go there, go there. Alrighty, so we're going to go to uh, my house. I see you all. I see you all. 
So we're going to go through Hyrule Castle. Um, we're probably going to get some money if I can because uh, I can get everything in the Zora area. So first of all, in the upper right of the map, if you're looking at the tracker, uh, there is this Zora area. Zora has an item that costs 500 rupees. Um, there are also other items that get there. There's total four items in that little area. And uh, I need to go there, but I need to get the money. And uh, we're a little, a little short right now as far as funds are concerned. But Monkey, I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? So a 300 rupee drop would be nice. Yes, 10 arrows, just what I need. Yeah, someone mentioned it'd be nice if we can just like you know just stab somebody with an arrow you know go javelin on them but uh, unfortunately that's not the game the, the game works. So we're gonna take a, a death abuse on this eventually most likely depending on what enemy shows up down here. So we're gonna go ahead and get the side room enemy and then the whatever item is in the jail cell where Zelda would normally be in the vanilla game you know this is the path you would take in the vanilla game to go save Zelda. All that good stuff, but, uh, yeah. Hope it doesn't sound creepy, but what, whenever you say something blah, 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 but, then it actually is what you say it isn't. You know? Actually, Christian, this is actually custom music. Um, the Super Nintendo is capable of playing CD quality music. It's just the fact that many people don't know that. And uh, the randomizer makes it a little easier to use it because you can actually modify the game to... Oh, this is going to take less time. Come on, hurry up. Is this even touching my hitbox? Really, guys? Really? Thank you. So I'm trying to get Death Warp here because I need to go back through the back part of Escape here. And uh, it's quicker to just take a death than to actually go all the way back manually. Yeah. Yep. You're just a fan? Well, be, make sure you're a fan, man. If you're going to be below the organizations, yeah, this is not the stream. Yeah, we ain't got time for that. We're here to raise money for the calls. You know about that? Not about chilling? Yo. Take it to a Reddit thread. I'm glad we hit the understanding. Alrighty, so we're going to. Wow, look at these big guys. Um. Enemies are very, very strong. Remember, I still have the equivalent of my green mail, which is my weakest defense. So when you're doing an atomizer and you have these dark or enemies, man, you can lose hearts very, very quickly. And that's not what I want to see there. So that means I don't have access to the to the back part of escape. Because the key has randomized on the other side. So uh, that's not fun. That is not fun here. So we need to get some money. We're going to have to get some money here. We only have a few item uh, locations to check uh, before I'm going to be forced to do Aga 1, which is okay because I have I have the Moon Pearl. And again, some seeds require Aga 1, some seeds don't, you know. Almond Joy's got nuts, mouths don't. So before we do that, we can go over here and check this spot. So we got a genus cave over here in the desert. This is normally the second desert or second dungeon we're playing a vanilla game. But while we're over here, we're gonna go over here and check to see what's over here just in case so we'll know. Alright, nothing of significance. So we're gonna head up to our boy Agena. And uh here's hoping for some money. Hey Sega Punk, what's going on? All right, so let's use one of our bizarms. Yeah, final boss Flanders. Oh my goodness! It seems like Mr. Burns would be the perfect final boss. Oh man, it's exactly what I wanted. That that couldn't have gone more perfect. So there is the money I wanted for Zora, and that is where we are going right now. Actually, let me not go that way. Now, of course, there's no guarantee we're going to get progression, but at least we can get the checks done. So, since we have flippers, we're going to take a little... We're going to take a little detour to there. We're going to use one of our portals. 
down here in the lake area, there's some portals that can warp you to other parts of the map. And uh, one of those will take me right into the Zora area, which is where I's headed. So in a perfect world, we are hoping for a glove. Um, hammer would be nice. Both would be better. Red Kanye and a hook shot. Well, well, hook shot is nice, but unfortunately, that does not does not give me go uh, dark road access yet. Um, we still we need more. That's a good item though. That's not good, aren't you all? So typically, when people play this game, they call is what they call life lessons. Because you gotta spend 500 rupees to get the item that Zora has. And typically, it usually doesn't give you anything of count. Hopefully, for once, 500 rupees will get me something I want. And we're gonna find out right now. Well, that was odd. 60% cash back. Um, but, um, that also means that, um, I am now forced to do Agonim. Um, again, for those in my chat, yo, check the title. I'm giving y'all a chance until I start reading my chat. So, go over there. No alerts on my stream. Everything's off. Go over there to Dr. Fat Buyer's channel. Because we're raising money to get four people to SGQ to do their runs. Coming up next month. It's getting very close here. Um, you can tell. Thank you so much, man. I want to give y'all focus, but the focus right now is on others, not myself. So I don't want to be neglect and say I'm being rude, but I got to focus on the mission, which is to help others right now. I'm literally the black Ellen DeGeneres right now. But thank you so much for all that. Alright, so here we go. Um, everybody's here, part of the game. Aga won. Ow. So we're forced to do this. This will give us access to Dark World. Um, it'll open up a portal right at the, kind of the entrance to Hyrule Castle area. And that will be my portal. And it's actually pretty nice because I have both um, the I have both the Hookshot as well as the, um, the other thing. One thing I don't have, which stinks a lot in this game, is not having a hammer. Uh, not having a hammer in Dark World is pretty not fun because it, it limits so much of where you can go. Um, you can see right now the effects of having <laughs> animals are active where all the enemies are randomized. We got a hot mess of stuff everywhere. So, how about that music, yo? Again, this is the MSU stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, that's not comfy. Intermines can some, put some very... Oh, my God. I was just about to say some very nasty enemies, like a spike roller. Which, on green mill, is, is massive health loss. As you can see, what just happened to my health on that one hit. A piece of heart is in plain sight. Oh boy. I gotta be really careful. These ground enemies can kill me in one hit here. Yeah, those that those are I think those are three heart damages right there. And I have a heart and a half. Monka. So Broba's kinda hoping for a heart drop here. Anything that can uh, give me some, but we can get health in here. So long as we don't get hit by these first. All right, let's get some health here. Move out of the way, bruh. Don't touch me. All right, cool. Um, are the number? 
The enemies is random, yeah. So, for instance, this room would have three enemies in it. But what three enemies, we don't know. That's that's when the enemies takes effect. So, that that's what that is. Just looking for a little health here. So, yeah, so if you have a room that has ten enemies in it, like this room always has three. So, we got two mimics and... Sparky. Look at that. Look at that. that, that, that. There's rat people over here. I always do talk to me. I always got to. Alright, you all. So, um, in order to do this part, we have to have um, a sword to break that curtain. Which we already have one anyway. We have to have two to even do this. So that's why Master Sword will give you the ability to break that curtain. Or if you have a uh, magic cape. So now it's time for our typical ping pong tennis match here. So this fight on the first shot on each phase is guaranteed um, possible hit. And then that happens. Bad RNG. So he'll do four attacks and then he goes to his lightning attack. Now this is bad RNG. So far this is the second worst possible pattern. So this is a guaranteed um, ball here. And then we go back to our RNG. Did you love that? This is the first time I even saw it. I didn't even realize it was even a homer until I happened to generate the seed. It's newly been added, apparently. What's up, Ness? You want some more game volume? I hear you. I got you. I got you, dog. Give me a minute. Let me make sure I don't go. Go! Oh! All right. So that takes care of Aghanim. One. So now we have access to Dark World. Now, as you see, it puts us right on top of the pyramid. And, of course, since we're here, we can check an item over here. And what we got over here? We got, oh, we got a little defense. So we got blue mail. Let's see what I turn into. Dude, I, I'm literally the actual character now. Gotta love it. So before we even can proceed, let's figure out where our crystals and pendants are. So, again, the goal of the game is to get all seven crystals. We're trying to beat Ganon. In order to get to Ganon's castle, we have to have all seven crystals. So, um, going around kind of in a, in a counterclockwise fashion here, you've got a green medallion up in the upper left corner of the map. That's our Skull Woods area. So, that green plus means that when we beat that dungeon, um, in vanilla, Sahasrala gives you the boots. So, the green plus indicates, hey, that's where you get your... Sahasrala item. Of course, we already have boots, so we don't know what we're going to get. Again, it could be a required item. So, if these towns are blue. The bottom left of the map, that's Meyer. That's a red pendant. Um, the bottom center is Swamp, which is a blue pendant. Now, getting all three pendants gives me access to the Master Sword pedestal item. Uh, remember in the vanilla game, you get all three pendants, you go to the Master Sword, Ooh, you pull the sword, and the I'm the King of Hyrule, and all that stuff. Um, ice is going to be required. It's the blue. And pod is the red. In the upper right corner of the map is our last blue on Turtle Rock. Now, those red pendants, those red diamonds, uh, red crystals, should I say, um, those are the items that are required to access the crack in the pyramid. Alrighty. So, um, there is an item that when you beat dungeons 5 and 6 in a vanilla game, you're able to take a red bomb up and get, um, you know, you're going to get upgrade, all that good stuff. Um, those are the two dungeons you need to do in order to grab that. So on the game, on the randomizer, they color code them red so you'll know which two are they are. So right now, you know, I don't really have access to complete this dungeon. Now, in randomizer, I always need... You always need the bow for this dungeon because you have to go downstairs. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go anyway because I'm not scared. 
Now the problem is I need hammer. I need hammer and bow to fully clear this dungeon. I don't have either. But the fun thing is you just don't know what's in these dungeons. Both of them could be in here. Uh, also, item count. There are six items in this dungeon to find. Pod has tons of keys, but there are six items that can be found. Six items part of the item pool. Again, we got pot shuffle turned on here. And as you can see, it actually was on the vanilla location. So let's see what we got here. So we got a key. Now, if I were if I did not get a key there, I would have actually been stuck. I would have to save and quit. Well, I'd have to take a death. Um, and I'm having to do that right now because if you just noticed, pot shuffle can also, as I mentioned, move the buttons around. And the button that normally is on this side of this room has been shuffled somewhere else where I can't get to. So the only way to go back is to take a death or just save and quit. So, so we're just going to take the death and just proceed through the center of the room. Yeah, good old pot shuffle. Yeah, in fact, the button's not even on, the button's on the complete opposite side of the room. Gotta love that. So right now, hmm, breath. So I'm actually gonna go this way just in case because pot shuffle can ruin this this dungeon completely. Because the button below here could be up here. Let's find out if it is. Yeah, see. So if I had dropped down here, I would have been in trouble because I couldn't hit the button. So again, another instance of pot shuffle. Now, um, actually, oops, let me go back down here. Now, we're gonna do this right side over here. <laughs> Maybe we will. We're gonna go check a hint and see if we can find any good information here. A unique item requires the cane of Samaria. Okay, so the cane of Samaria is the cane I already have, which is the red cane, red Kanye as I call it. Now, the thing about this, it, you have to think about everywhere in the game where red cane is required. Uh, so, unfortunately, it's a very, very vague hint because there are a lot of places that the cane is required. For instance, um, Meyer requires the cane. Turtle Rock requires a cane. It's not specific as to where. It's just saying something tied to that. So, but we'll deal with that when we can. Wow, watch out for that spike roller. Now, two items here. We're going to be stuck here afterwards. Because we don't have that hammer to play whack-a-mole over there. So, let's see if we can get something good here. Well, there's the big key. All right, so we're gonna take a death here. Again, taking a death here again because uh, we don't have the hammer and we don't have mirror yet. Life is good, yo. We move on. All right, so let's continue forward. So we have one key. We got one small key. Now we could either and we're going to, we're going to maximize this key to the best of my ability. So we're going to go forward here. All right, I got another key. No shock there. So the good part is because I have lamp, we have access to get tons of items now. We can get right now. We can get at least uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six more items. I can stop cracking my skull open here. So logically, um, the game never requires you to do dark rooms. Like for instance, if you ever watch Randomizer, people do these rooms in the dark all the time. But logically, now see, wow. So, so far it's already paid off by coming here first because we have a very, very required uh, glove upgrade. And that is so good, the fact that it actually gives me access to Death Mountain now. So now we can go up the mountain and access all, time, uh, all kinds of extra stuff now. Oops, I got my keys. All right, so let's continue. Now, if we happen to find hammer, we can finish this dungeon. A well, hammer and a, a bow. Do you dig it? All right, so uh, the shovel only leads to one item directly. So, 
might be something good. We'll have to deal with that a little bit later. Because we got to go back to Light World to even do that one. Well, uh, somebody is down there killing themselves. Alright, so... Got a burrito. Ah, uh, let's see what we got here. Alright, got ourselves another map. And let us see what we get in the big chest. Alrighty. So... There's only one other place left, which is going to be basically a key exchange um, to go downstairs. But since we don't have the we don't have the hammer or the bow, uh, that's going to be it for us. So in the meantime, now it's a, it's a little it's a little ugh right now because we don't have the hammer. Um, th the game has portals all over the map that give you access to just lift up the rock and go to Dark World. Unfortunately, since I don't have that hammer, I only have basically one portal, and that's the one I created for beating Aga 1, which is right in front of Hyrule Castle. But we're gonna go over here and try this, try this shovel. As you can see, just on that find alone, Palace of Darkness was a required double dip. We had to go in there to get the shovel to go get the bow we need to finish this dungeon itself. So, um, the shovel actually paying off for something good for a change. Wow. Alright, now before we actually proceed forward, we need to do a couple things here. Demo, what's up you all? Everybody, how you doing? Go to the link in the title of my channel. If you're in there, go to Dr. Fatbody Stream. Dr. Underthor Fatbody. Since we found a glove, uh, we now have access to get the back of the um, escape sequence. Now, you remember we were here earlier, we didn't have a small key. So, the small key is actually on the other side. So, the only way to get back here is to find this glove to push that rock. And now, we can probably find the key and other two items. Which happened to be nothing of significance. Wonderful. But uh, that's the game. That's the game for you. All right, so. The fun part about this right now is that we don't have a lot. We can do some things here. So for instance, right now, uh, Skull Woods is, is clearable. I'm sorry, not Skull Woods, uh, Thieves Town. Except for the fact I don't have that hammer. You like my shirt? Well, thank you. I like my shirt, too. This is not Yellow Zelda. Oh, my God. So, since we have um, a, a glove upgrade finally, we can now go up the mountain. And, of course, we're going to walk Granddaddy out because, you know, he's scared. So, by having this, now we can't actually get up to the um, hair, tower of hair, because we don't have hammer. If we happen to find hammer or we happen to find mirror, then we will have access to that. And we got a lot of stuff we can check before that anyway. Alright, that's all nice, man. ZP Dolly, thank you for dropping that resub, yo. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So we're going to use the hook shot in a moment to go to bottom path. But we're going to go check and see what's up here first. Um, there's one item we can get. There's one item we can see what it is. But we can't access it yet without having the mirror. And that's Babby's first shield. So that shield we can't get until we find the mirror. Um, there's a heart piece there. And I'm going to actually go down there and check the hint. You know, I don't... I don't necessarily check all the hints myself, but um, if it's a hint that's going to tell me an item location of something I need, like uh, the hammer, then it's definitely worth it. Matt, what's going on? And it's a, the Book of Midor is in the Hype Cave. Now, see, that would be a good hint. Now... The thing about that is the book will give me access to Desert Palace, 
which in this case happens to be a pendant. So it's not necessarily required, but it also gives me access to the tablet item. But one of them I can't get until I find the mirror. But until that, let's just worry about getting past this massacre of a location, shall we? Demo, how are you doing as well? Now, we can get that book, by the way. Unfortunately, it takes a quite of a while to get there because our only portal, our only portal is Hyrule Castle. And um, we have to go all the way around the map because we don't have that hammer to get to it. So it's a really long walk, unfortunately. We can nullify that by finding hammer first and be done with it. So hopefully we can find, we got eight items up here we can find. Ice rod is always a good find. Enemizer can be horrific when you find Trinex. And ice rod is an item that literally can be anywhere. Nothing prohibits ice rod from being anywhere except having ice rod on Trinex himself. So, Finding ice rod at any time is always great. So far, this this is pretty whack. Well, Trinex is no issue now, is he? Fire rod and ice rod together in happy harmony. That get much better than that. So now finding fire rod is great because now I can actually uh, fully clear. Um, Skull Woods as well, even though it's also a pendant, but you know, who knows? There might be something on the pedestal. All right, so we only have one more check here. Yeah, Ice Rod and Firework cannot be on Tronics, never, yeah, because you need them to beat the boss in the first place. So, yeah, we're gonna beat Ganon. Yep, the goal is to beat Ganon. Well, he just took my bomb. He literally just ate my bomb. All right, let's have our last check up here. All right, so we're done with this area for now. All right, so um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go take care of some of these checks. All right, um, it's going to take us a little a minute to get here because we only have one portal. Yeah, look at the, the walk of Homer. He, he's like his... He's got like bad posture, man. His stomach is all sticking out. His curved back. Alright, so in order to get to the other side of the map, because we don't have Hammer, we have to uh, take a nice little uh, scenic route, per se. Which requires us to have this hookshot in a minute. Ow. So, um, what we need to do here is a hook shot across here. This will give us access to the other side of the map. Alright, so again, we can't do any, any checks right there yet because we're missing the mirror. That hurt. Um, we're going to do a little check up here just to see what's up here. Uh, up here on the ledge is an item that requires me to have the magic cape to get it. I'm gonna take a little look and see what it is. And it happened. Oh boy. Well, that is a very desired item there. Can you make your own mod? Uh, well, I mean, I don't know about programmatically. I mean, I could try. Try to fail. Oh, yeah, by the way, let's talk about this the randomizer. So, um, in this game, for instance, that sword. In this mode, there are four sword locations, okay? The way the game programmatically does it now is that anytime you find any of them, they always will be level one sword. So once you find one of the four locations, then all the remaining ones turn into level two. So for instance, there are two sword locations left, and just like the one you just saw, um, they both will have a number three on them. Once I get one of those two remaining level threes, then the last one automatically becomes a level four sword, which is our our golden sword. And ain't that a blip. That's exactly what I need to get that sword we just saw. So we're going to go back and pick that up in a second here. Because uh, anytime you can get rid of mass swords, a good day. 
All right, so the uh, chess game, not too impressive. So before I go tackle this dungeon, we're going to go upgrade our sword level. Let's go upgrade our sword level, shall we? Now we have our, we have our first bottle as well, so now we can make a check for Sick Kid back in Light World. But ain't nobody stunned by him right now. He'll be alright. Uh, alright, so head on up here. By the way, spoiler, you can actually just walk across here. Hacks, I know. I'm gonna do a little damage boost. Optimal movement. And we now have a lovely Cheeto as my sword weapon. And uh, let's go ahead and take care of our dungeon. Now, the thing is, we can actually clear. We can actually clear. Yeah, this is actually kind of interesting here. We can actually clear this dungeon up here. Now, this is a pendant dungeon, so it's not necessarily required. But it may be, I don't know, down the road. So we're actually going to go to the back first. Ow. We're going to go to the back of the dungeon first and, and work our way from the back to the front. Um, I'm more concerned about what boss it is. Uh, we're pretty much okay for any boss at the moment, I think. Vanilla. Pardon me. Laggy. Um, if we happen to find Helmus our king, we don't have to have hammer, but it's going to be a fun fight with bombs. Uh, four bombs will destroy his face mask. But uh, about everybody else is okay. Alright, so we're looking for a key here. And, okay. Now that key can actually randomize to the room above it, which is not fun. So, thanks to us having Fire Rod from a uh, find up in the mountain. Now, um, let's talk about item count. There are two unique items in this dungeon. Two. Just two. So, again, anything that's on a map, a compass, or a key is one of those items. Bruh. We're a little, curious. We're a little bit low on the health action here. Oh, that's not helpful. Oh. All right, let's give me that. So let's get rid of all these knuckleheads. All right, let's um, use our lamp. Let's try to conserve my magic here. If I can. Ooh. Don't want to get grabbed by the good old wall masters. Put you right back to the beginning of the dungeon here. Save the magic and kill him with a sword. And thank you. Alright, y'all. Now, here's the question. Let's see what boss we get. The only problem right now is if the boss happens to be cold stare, we're in trouble. Because we don't have enough magic. Um, cold stare is the bad boss right now. Uh, actually, we should be okay. This should be enough to fill it back up. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, wait. There's no magic there. So, coaster is bad. Is this even randomized? So, so far, all of our bosses have been Mothula. Which, I mean... So, um, there's our green. So, the green gives me the access to get the item from Sahasho that I was talking about earlier. But we still haven't found either item in the dungeon. 
Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna continue our, our look at look in here. Cause we wanna find we wanna find the two item man, that fight was garbage. I'm just walking around. I mean, you know what I mean? Nothing to go make a you know uh how to be oh boy. Okay, that's not comfy. Oh my oh my look at look at my bunny form. So that's the bunny form of, of, of Homer. So evil Homer showed up, man. I haven't seen that in forever. So that was one of our items there, the heart container. I am evil Homer. So we're going to walk back out, trying to keep my health up, because I just don't know what enemy is going to show up. There's only one item left. Let's see if we can find it. And then once we find it, we're going to make our way... Um, down around the map. Um, I will let to hopefully find the hammer. Again, hammer is a hindrance when you don't have it in in Dark World. Just kind of the things you just can't do. Um, I can't fully clear. I cannot fully clear Thieves Town quite yet without the hammer. Not it's not necessarily required, but it just depends on how the item RNG goes. What's up, Dorky? How you doing? So we're going to go over here first and see if we happen to find uh, the item here. And they, Oh, baby. See? See? This was a pendant dungeon. Not necessarily required, but that is a guaranteed required item there. So that's it. We're done. We are done with that. There's my second item, and the Titan Mitts are it. So... Let's continue. Hey, Ninja Boy, what's up, you all? What's up, Reiko? Hey, y'all, for those in my channel, again, we're doing a fundraiser or helping to raise money to get people to GDQ, HDQ. Um, this is being reached on Dr. Fat Body channel, which is where you should be watched now in the first place. If you're in my stream, exclamation title, go to that link, join in all the foolishness. Because this is being restreamed over there on his channel. Here's Chanel. What do the mitts do? Allow me to slap people who need some sense in their brains. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's a that's a glove upgrade. So, so um, in the game, there are rocks. There are rocks all over the place, and there are these gray rocks, these dark gray rocks. That's what the the titans allow me to lift up. The regular gloves allow me to lift up the the lighter colored rocks. Titans are for the darker ones. Um, so that gives me access to a lot of places that I couldn't access. Um, like um, Dark Death Mountain, access to uh, Mire, and other delicious places. Well, wait a minute. Did, did you see that? He just stole my bomb when he was below me. He was on the level below me and took my bomb from me through the floor. Man, this game, this game's programming is so strange when it comes to like layering, like, you know, vertical position. Ugh. Are we live? I don't know. Hope we ain't dead. Tell you, man, Nintendo be cheating. Uh, I guess we'll get it. Alright, be a little careful here. Now, interesting in this game, regardless of what your uh, defense level is, if you touch a spike, you always lose a full heart. So. Ow. Yeah, it says restreaming, but I still have to press the stream. Yes. To restream, there must be a stream in the first place. Yes, I, 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 yes. Yes, yeah, I, I. You have to, you have to string for it to be restringed somewhere else. Yes. Otherwise, it has to be live. I just answered your question in real time, knucklehead. The Misery Mire big key in a map is fire locked in Misery Mire. So that's when hints are helpful. 
And it's actually particularly helpful in this case because Meyer happens to be a crystal, which is a required dungeon to beat the game. And since I already now know where the big key is, I don't have to waste my time running all over the map trying to find it. No. So, um, yeah, pot shuffle. So I wanted to check that first. Um, anyway, just to see if there was a helpful hint, and that was. So we're going to go over here and get this item. Now, one thing about Enemizer, again, we have enemies randomized the entire game, is that in Enemizer, that floor is not required to be blown up. Um, there's a potential soft lock based on how things get placed, um, but that's unique to Enemizer. So normally, like, oh my god, Big John, you don't know what you're doing. Well, I really don't, actually, anyway. But... Um, the floor blowing up is not required in Enemizer. All right, so we're going to continue here, and uh, we're going to head downstairs. Now, of course, we cannot actually get every item in this dungeon, unfortunately. Yes, I'm, I'm ignoring my chat and reading the other one. I'm only reading my chat as a, as a generosity. But I'm focusing on his chat. So. Alright, so that's not cool. So if you look right now on the bottom right, I have the map, the compass, and the big key. I have a small key in my possession. There's a room to my left, two rooms to the left, and the boss. That means there are two items left in the dungeon, and I can only get one because I don't have the hammer to get that left item. So, we may have to come back to this dungeon later. We'll find out. Okay. Well, let's go shoot some stuff here. So, we got our armor knights showing up down here. And we're just going to wheel away on these arrows here. And uh, get our 20 cent reward. Alrighty, so there is our third crystal. Mm. That's a really strange looking face right there. So remember you all, there is one item left there and it is locked by the hammer. So we'll deal with that later. Uh, but in the meantime, um, it's time to go. So we're going to continue to work our way around the map. Again, all that stuff down below, we have to go all the way around the map, unfortunately. Because we're still lacking a hammer. However, we can go over here and pick this up. Yep, exclamation MSU. So, there's an item here. It can be anywhere between the 1st to 30th dig. And there it is right there, a blue potion. So, nothing progression-wise, but it is, I mean, it's a bottle. So, y'all, yeah, exclamation MSU on my channel. Which you should not be in anyway. Now, we cannot check this location right there, K45. Requires the mirror. But we can go over here and talk to Stumpy. Who happens to give me silver arrows. Well, again, it's going to be pretty free now. Ow. Um, silver arrows. Now, of course, in a vanilla game. Yes. Uh, yeah. There is no setting for this. This is not a technical setting. Uh, I don't really have time to get into that right now. But all the stuff you need to go is on the website. Um, it, is, it, is, it depends. You can use it on any emulator or console. It's required to set up to make it happen. Which is now is not the best time for me to go into that. But if you go to the link to the past randomizer website. A-L-T-T-P-R dot com and follow the guide there. You can get yourself set up all nice and juicy. But again, I'm focusing on on, on I'm focusing on Fat Body's channel. If you're in my stream, please go to Fat Body's channel. I'm, I'm not neglecting you. I'm just not paying attention to you. Because the focus is on that channel. Not mine. Thank you! Yeah, again, the quality of the colors, again, that's a unique setup thing. Again, not the best time for that. But, I mean, you can do that with anything. 
Emulators, blah blah. What setting couldn't tell you? Yeah, couldn't tell you about that. So we know that book is in here. We were told by the hint of it. You know it's way to the back. Thanks for that. So, yay. So we can check that stuff. Now there's really only like one more thing we can do. Um, and that's actually do catfish. Now since I don't have the hammer, I can't go that way. Joy, right? That. Yes. For those who don't understand, yes. This is live. The word restream does not mean pre-recorded. That means that, hey, a stream is also being streamed in another location. Hence the word restream, not rerun or past broadcast or, you know, this is being restreamed to another channel, which is what I have in the title. If it were live, then I would not be, if it was not live, I would not be responding to your questions in real time. <clears throat> I tell y'all, I'm gonna get y'all a, get y'all a handbook or something. Yeah, there is no setting for this call. She, I, you have to just read the website, my friend. For for colors and stuff like that, I mean, dude, there's like there's like infinite options. There's no there's no one setting for for like color stuff. I mean, I mean, there's like 58 filters in just the program itself. You choose the one you like, which is just literally what I did and and stuff to add to my stream. There's no just you know press button that just does it. Yeah. Um. Alrighty. Yeah. Yeah, they don't host no they're not hosting the primary stream because otherwise it wouldn't be marked as live. That's why. And then someone trying to watch it wouldn't see the stream. Cause it wouldn't be live. Alright, so here's the thing. We still ain't got no hammer. So We are on the hunt for some stuff here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is go turn this green pendant. Just in case. Just in case killing the boss up there on uh, Skull Woods happened to give me something I want. Yeah. So let's see if Sashira Hashira 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 has something good over here. What a waste of my effort. Alrighty, so, actually, let me see if I can quest quicker. Alright, so, we're, we're done with that. So, we're gonna, we're gonna check a, a few little, um, a little, few little spots here. We're gonna shortly make our way up to, uh, Death Mountain. Because we have a lot of items on the right side to check. But first we're gonna check King Soon. Now this requires you to have boots and either in Titans or either boots in a mirror. What else we got here? Oh there's our first medallion of the day. Now speaking of medallions here um we haven't even been to Turtle Rock or Meyer, which in this particular seat, both are crystals. So we definitely need to have the correct medallion to access them both, and that's one of them. Don't know if I need it or not. We don't know which one, but we'll figure it out a little bit later. P but since we have bottles, we got Sick Kid to go check. Let's go check his Sick Behind. And... He gave me a quarter of his heart. Lovely. All right. Easy, right done, Kate. Oh, I didn't check books, see? 
Can I get my trackers to check, please? Thank you. Thank you, trackers. My tracker's full of sleep. So we're gonna go back and go get um get our our frog over here. Again, we don't have mirrors, so uh, we already did we already did uh what you call it anyway. We got so hyped with the cape check that we already checked it and we already got the item. So that's where our sword was. So unfortunately when you don't have mirror, this becomes more frustrating. You are forced to save and quit, unfortunately. And um so we're gonna take him back to Light World. Now he becomes a a, a swordsmith. We're gonna go deposit him at his house. He's a little slow though, ain't he? So once we get this, hopefully get some good hammer would be nice. I'll tell you that. Um, things we definitely have to find, um, it'd be nice to find something good here soon. No, I wouldn't do, I don't do Metroid. No, I wouldn't play Metroid. I don't, I don't even know Metroid. I wouldn't even play that. Uh, number 20 cents. Uh, all right, so that's totally not what I want. Now, interesting to note is that, um, uh, we do have the full ability to get the master uh, <laughs> we've got the uh, uh, not quite hey, we're getting there oh I'm gonna go here actually Metroid is a is a girl yes I can prove it all right so we're gonna go over here to the to our dark death mountain area. Got this cool spin speed glitch here. So, in and this is a Japanese uh, exclusive little glitch there. When you charge up a spin and you uh, press dash on the next frame, and it starts. It's initiated by hitting a staircase, and uh, you have very very fast running speed. Got to go fast. I also got to play wrong apparently. Don't do me no mind. I know I have no idea what I'm doing. So over here, we can check a few things. First of all, we have Hookshot Cave, which will give us access to four items. We've got Super Bunny Cave, as it's called, because technically you can grab these items without actually having your bunny form. And uh, kind of more importantly, we can check to see what medallion we need for uh, Turtle Rock. Have pets? I've, I've, I had. I've, I've. 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 I've needed you to go over to the Fat Body Stream. Got dog it. Yeah, where I live, the pet fee is. If I'm gonna have a pet, that pet gonna get a, get a job. To pay them crazy fees. So we got magic powder and blue boomerang. So magic powder. Um, does give us access to another location if I had the hammer or the mirror, which I don't have either. Joy. So, Brett, how come he gets to... Well, well, well dang. There is that hammer we need so badly. And the flute. Wow, that's actually perfect. So we need flute to get to Meyer. And uh, that is perfect. So now we just do Hookshot Cave was the place to go. And uh, let's. Oh man, check that out. Well, um, that makes that dungeon completely clearable. So based on me finding both the hammer 
and that we can fully clear ice we can fully clear pod we can fully clear turtle rock and um we can uh fully clear Hera. And if we have the right medallion on, on Meyer, we're in go mode. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah, Swamp is a pendant, so Swamp is not required. You know? Lord help us if, if, if it's something in there we need, though. But as far as that dungeon is required... So the first thing we do is turn on this dog on and flute. Go ahead and get that fast travel. All right, please stand for the singing of a national anthem. Whoops. No, don't dig. So, the first thing we're going to check is Meyer. Meyer needs this, so let's check Meyer and see if the medallion is also bacon. The tilde. If we see that, we're good. If we don't see that, not fun. Can you believe that? We are in go mode. So, we define go mode as being, you have all the items required to complete the game. And we have the ability to clear all five dungeons. We only have two crystals right now, but we're literally in go mode because we can clear all those dungeons. And of course, from a hint we got earlier, we already know where the big key is in this dungeon. Right, this is just too much mess over here. I'm gonna need you to die. Okay, thanks. What's up, Master? What's up, Secure? Hey, look, y'all go over to twitch.tv says Dr. Fat Body. Go there now, otherwise, I'm gonna cut you. I ain't gonna cut you. Oh, pot shuffle. Alright, so, um, this is, uh,. I do need a key though. I do need a key to get to the other side. That was pretty fast. Well, yeah, getting getting a go mode that, that's relatively early, uh, especially in Animizer. And I, and I say, I say that because in Animizer, with you not knowing what bosses you're gonna fight. And to actually have all the items to kill all bosses, <clears throat> that doesn't happen all the time. Um, that does not happen all the time. It is very common in, in, in a Mauser that you may have the ability to get to a dungeon, but you can't actually kill the boss because you're missing. Um, you're missing, like, you know, I'm missing, say, Fire Rod and Bombos, and then I can't kill... I can't kill, say, uh, oh, what am I doing here? Wow, Monka. Let me be a little careful here. I do have that blue potion, which I'm about to use in a second. All right, I don't have a net, so I can't, oh, man, look at this. How silly is that? But, yeah, it only required one double dip, and that was the dip to, um, we had to... We had to uh, go into, we had to go into pod to get the shovel to dig up the bow, to go back into pod, which we're doing a little bit. And of course, Hookshot Kid gave us our last two items we needed. But yeah, some sometimes, man, you can, you may do some triple dips, and that's not fun. I'm so dumb. I didn't even check up. I didn't even check. I think I went to the wrong item first. One of these items is the big key. I hope it's this one. 
Good, I made the right choice. All right, now we're good. All right. That's my face. All right, so um, what am I doing? I need a um to go. I don't want no bug net. Bruh. Dang it. You know what? That just went so bad. I was... Tr <laughs> this game, I swear. Oh, lordy. Alrighty, so we're gonna just make our way down here. We don't have to worry about any more checks. Um, there's there's two items in this dungeon. The uh, only thing I gotta be a little cautious of right now is magic. So I wanna the only thing that can make this go really bad is uh, we see. Uh, well, if I don't have full magic, and we have cold stare. Cause I need full magic for cold stair, um, if I only have fire rod. If I have bombos, no biggie. Trinix is okay too, no biggie. All right y'all, guess the boss. It's your chance to win a thousand dollars in fake fair, and fake prizes and fair and yeah, cap fair. What boss are we gonna see this time? I don't wanna get hit by you actually, I don't wanna lose magic. Armos Knights, Moldorm. Dude, the random chicken down here. <laughs> Dude. Well, this is interesting. But we have silver, so. Some of you typically don't have a vanilla. Silvers do 100 damage. So, um. Not much of a challenge. When it comes to those. Again, silvers can damage a lot of bosses. There's some that silvers do nothing with. Like Cole's there. Mm -hmm. what's in your mouth. Alrighty, so. So we's done with that. Now I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go over here into the shed and check because you know maybe we can get gold sword. Let's gonna go here and check just, just see what's up in here. You know, if we can look and find sword, it'd be nice, another sword. Uh, got 20 cents and <laughs> mushroom. Alright. Well, let us continue. I mean, technically, I could go turn into mushroom just to see if I can get a higher sword, but I mean, I don't need it. But I mean, why not? It's a direct flight. You know? So, we're just gonna go over there, transition off one screen, trans back. And let's see if we can give me something good. I mean, I only need one of them anyway, so. Uh, since I got a lot of money here, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get a blue. Whoa, bucko. All right, that's free to be. Just in the event I get to a boss, I'm low on magic or something. All right, so one of the cool things about this is being able to go mode ice. Ice Palace has a... Ice, Ice Palace kind of has that reputation, kind of like Water Palace and OT. Most folk don't really like it. So let's get what we don't like out of the way first. Alright, now of course with this palace, we need to have either Fire Rod or Bombos to proceed beyond the first room. Nice. 
the boost required bomb. Thanks for that delay of broadcast information here. So again, another instance where there are always three enemies there, and of course only one is killable, so. So, uh, this is nice. So being able to go mode swamp is always fun because you don't have to worry about literally doing anything. You know, you just need to get to the boss door. And uh, since we have red cane, it allows us to um, avoid that disastrous mess. It's just so much easier to have red cane and hookshot in this dungeon. I said swamp. Yeah, it's a, it's a frozen swamp. See? See, that's what ice does when it frozes. It, it, it turns into frost. Frost. Frost? <laughs> it, it, it frost. Alright, so... Armor and some cash. Well, we now know where our, our red mail is. So that hint refers to um, the big, the the red bomb that blows up the pyramid. So it looks like we probably won't be seeing green mail, or red mail, should I say? Uh, who has the key? You. Thank you. And since we have this, we're going to do a bomb jump because why not? Which is... Uh oh, I messed up. <laughs> the old boy over there is stuck. Wow, this is kind of hard with this, this, this sprite character. I can't really tell where the stuff is. I think that's off. Alright, so since, since I can't really tell with that, I'm not going to waste my time with that. I ain't trying to become Black History. I do like living. Let's see, where is the button? There you go. Wow, this is busy. Mmm, frozen row sounds legit. Oh boy, get over here. Alright, so we kind of continue on over here, and, uh, wow, a spike roller, really? Really, bruh? Don't want to come Black History right there. Alright, so, um, in this instance, I need to go grab, uh... I may do I may do a loop because I do I'm not even trying to worry about what you call it. I gotta be a little careful here. It's not helpful though. Not comfy here. Uh, I may have I may have to do a loop here because of me not want to do bomb jumps. With a spray I can barely see in the first place. If I get big key, we're okay. Which I know you wouldn't anyway. Ow. Alright, so what I'm going to do, pick you up here. Please, you're killing me here. Uh, Alright. Yeah, I mean, I had that, wow, well, as you can see, the switch has randomized all the way up here. Unfortunately, due to my lack of wanting to do a bomb jump, I need to go around. Wait. Actually, that was not smart. <laughs> Just realized that was not a smart idea. Uh, Alright, so let's see here. Uh, let's see if we can... Please. Please stop. Hey, look, more items. 
So if you just if I just did the bomb jump, man, when sometimes when you have the the, the custom sprites, um, if they're like all five pixels, sometimes it makes these jumps a little bit harder than they need to be. Thanks, evil Homer. Alrighty. Wow, they're really being meany here. I swear, if the big key was in the room with the two guys, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, look, a wall master. Isn't that delightful? Thank you. Now tell me that in other channel. So everybody can say, oh, soft. All right, so literally I went right past the big key. The big key was actually another room. Yeah, big key was here. So. <laughs> the, the one time I like skipping. I could have gotten that chest, but uh, who cares. All right, so we got a key already. Excuse me. So in the event we need magic, we got we got our um we have our potions in case. So again, having Red King has to worry about pushing the block from above that required dumb lap. Wow, that lag. So you gonna get my hit boss. Alright, so let's see what boss we get this time, y'all. Make your guesses. I mean, I guess I could go get some magic, just in case. A third Mafia lane coming? Please. <laughs> the, don the, the, the Dongo King, okay. That look nice. Well, thank you. I used soap today. Oh, this is interesting. Mm. Not so challenging when you can't knock you off, crazy. Got five eyes. And we are done. That was the ice. So, we are done with that. Of course, we don't have we don't have a mirror, so we can't quickly do that. So, uh, let us head over to our Palace of Darkness, where most of it is already clear. We just need to get to the boss. So. So since we finally have our hammer, we can get to this portal much quicker now. And take not too long of a jog up to our dungeon. No, we've already cleared out Eastern, so. So again, all we gotta do is go to the boss. We've already gotten every item in the, in the dungeon. Well, every, every location needs to be checked. Um, I believe there's an item on the boss. Um, conveniently, it'd be nice to have, uh, I would say, mirror. You know, getting mirror on the boss will allow me to just quickly mirror back and fly to my next, my next location. Why does everybody keep saying this is a live stream? All right. Okay, I, I, I did not mean to do that. There we go. All right, 
right, so pot shuffle. Oh, uh, well, there's right there. Butter sword be nice. I mean, it, I mean, I have temper. I mean, it's, it's pretty much okay. This is not fun. So this, these enemies are kind of annoying here because, you know, you have to wait for them to spawn. And there's... Apparently there's one somewhere else, and he might be off screen. There it is. <laughs> Dude, these silly... Those silly boogeymen. Wow, I totally missed that shot. Yep. Yes. So what happens for those who are technically confused? I am streaming on my channel. Someone is using this amazing thing called window capture. And they're capturing their browser where my stream is open. So my stream appears in multiple locations. It has been restreamed to multiple locations at once. It's like a multi-pass or something. Yes. Oh, look at all the helmet stars down here. Oh, that four piece. That infestation down there. Multi pass? Alright, y'all, what boss? Are we gonna go in another mafia? Spread her out here. Wow, all these chickens. Alrighty, well, this is we're gonna have some uh, wormy worms. Uh, I'm trying to get some silvers. Lovely. Oh, thank you for the generic lightning bolt. I mean, I don't need it, but hey. A special shampoo, eh? Say, when, you, when you're in go mode, man, you can just knock them out really quickly. Special place you right then, you know. Alrighty, so that takes care of the the pod. So the next stop on our tour, we're gonna head up the mountain now. So to the mountain cave we go. Now it kind of stinks right now that we we don't have uh, <laughs> we don't have mirror. And just for ease of completing the dungeons, we're going to do Hera first. Now, I, don't, I don't have a build of the mirror, so since we only have a one-way track right now, we're going to do we're going to do Tower of Hera first, and then we'll come back and do Turtle Rock, and then we get to play video games. Smitty Todd, what's up? You need to go watch the stream at Fat Bodies URL. Been rebroadcast over yonder, so go watch over there so you can go interact with all all those people, those people as well. Yeah, okay, I got you. Yeah, bam, bam. All right, so all we need to find honestly is, is the big key. Um, hopefully we don't have to go down to the basement. Which, uh, uh oh. The basement forces you to watch a nice little cutscene. You have to sit there and watch the tiles go, which I'm sure you all wouldn't mind. And at Bellow, they have more bombs, and yay. So there is a big key, so we don't have to worry about that long cutscene. Let me do that. Uh. Alright, let's go. Man, I don't even know what happened. I, did, I tell you, I may worry about yesterday. I'm, I'm beyond. I tell you what, I don't even dwell on the past. See, I, I remember things that are, like, important. After that, man, I just move on. Hey, Oprah's calling me. Steve, man, glad to see you, though, man. Hopefully, uh... Things are going well for you. Out. Look, you, stop touching me. 
good. Now I can totally function with an extra penny. It's all good. I don't even know what happened yesterday. Alright, hacks. Alright, y'all, what boss? What do you think? Oh, okay. Oh, this is going to interesting, but hey, for silvers, it's no match. So I'm going to need y'all to move around over here. Now let's go. Oh. Little, little arrow to the eye. And uh, two silvers are killing me. I got some arrow reimbursement. Easy game. Easy game. So again, one of the joys about inner miles, well, about random miles, is that if you happen to get silver arrows, it makes a lot of the bosses trivial. You know, hundred damage. Basically, every boss that. Is, a, is vulnerable from silvers can be killed in one hit except for um, Argus which requires two two I know oh no two arrows oh. all right y'all so we're gonna go to turtle rock which uh, interesting enough is in the vanilla game the last dungeon oh my lord what is this monka Yo, Mr. Harvey dropping all the pog champs. Excuse me. Yeah, go ahead and back it up. Alrighty, so let's go crack this open. And this is our last dungeon, you all. This is our last dungeon we need to do. Um, we're already set for, for Bowser. Bowser, wow. We're already set for Ganon. We've got Tempered Sword, we've got Silvers, we're good. So, learn to make plugus. Plugus, that's totally not the right word, but whatever. So again, we have no issues here, we just need to find a big key. Find a big key and work our way back. So, uh, that's the only thing that really hurting for. Once we find a big key, um, we have an extra key, we're good. I mean, I mean, come on, bruh. So, uh oh, this could be bad. We need to use. I need him to move up my way. See, that, see, that's the, see, that's what I'm talking about. See, that's the stupidity I'm talking about. Dude just camped on the on the roller coaster track here, and now he just levitates through the wall. You, you see that mess? Enemies be cheating. I love when you saw a glimpse of them right there. Oh, missed. Check over the swag track. Typically, it's gonna go around that, but you know, we ain't got time for that. Alright, so it looks like the big bars have RNG'd out of here. Hey, there's Bombos. All right, now we're all situated with keys. Let's go. So, Bombos is pretty cool. So, if we happen to see, uh, you know, Cold Stare, we can body with that if we choose to do so. We're going to let Pokey sit right there. So, what RGN? I don't, I don't know what, what, is that, is that an acronym? What, random? Uh oh, let me do that. All right. Oh, Oprah's still calling me here. Thank you for another key. I would totally situate on keys there. All right, let's go. Wow. I thought I was gonna get dead rocked in a dungeon. That would've stunk. Do, 
do, do. All right, so because we we uh, uh we're gonna go grab this key over here. Um, keys do get shuffled around, so we want to make sure we don't get in the in the in the rare case where we actually can't grab the key. So we're gonna grab this key in an about face. Evil Homer. We don't even worry about that item because we're going to burn a key to get to it. So. Because technically we don't have to worry about Laser Bridge. Well, let's get another key. Oh, wow, this is free. Here. It doesn't get much nicer than that, that's for sure. And of course, we don't have to worry about Mimic. So Mimic requires Mirror, and of course, Brother ain't got no Mirror. That's when inner mouse, uh, random mouse can go kind of bad because you know if there was a required item we needed there, let's just say let's just say the mirror was on the boss of this dungeon. You'd have to go redo the whole dungeon again all to that point just to get that item, which ugh. What is the ideal placement? <laughs> Dude, instant go mode. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I mean, your ideal place and whatever you want to call it would be obviously put all the items you will want in the most item dense locations. So, say for instance, if you're playing a game, you know, your first location that has tons of checks very quickly is uh, Mini Moldor and Cave. There are five checks there, so. If you want to have the best possible setup you could get, you would hope to have five things you know you need there. You know, both gloves, moon pearl, all kinds of stuff. All the stuff that you always need no matter what. And of course, I'm you can kill bosses with, so. Um, as you can see, Pot Shuffle is biting me here. The switch has moved all the way down here to the corner. You know. But again, people who run random, I mean, you know, there's not really, quote, world record runs, per se, because, I mean, we're talking about, talking about trillions of possible setups here. Wow. Well, okay, then. I see you all. And not to mention, not just playing from item setup, but, you know, obviously doing things that, that break logic. You know, doing rooms in the dark, which is not, it's not logical. Hovering, which nullifies and needs to hunt down for keys and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, a nice 16-bit doe, eh? All right, y'all, guess the boss. Well, well, since this is since I got bombos here, we'll save some magic. I didn't want that to happen. Here, burn, burn! So this dude is very, very dangerous. Um, he can wipe out your health very, very quickly. Of course, I can also kill him very quickly, or somewhat quickly. And I get my 20 cent reward. And that puts us... Completed with all seven of our crystals. Now we go and fight Ganon. So typically for those who watch Randomizers, they like to play this really cool game where we are trying to guess where the big key is in Ganon's Tower. Okay. Um, we need the big key in order to begin to climb up towards Ganon, or Aganon 2 specifically. And there are 22 possible locations where that big key could be. What do you think, you all? Where do you think that big key is going to be this time? If you guess right, you win cake.
The feeling no more drinking drink. The feeling I almost broke my glass. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So let's go to the right side first. I'm, I'm always like, I always go to the right first, usually. When I, except when I don't. One. Wow, talk about getting paid in that room. Literally the bank right there. So we're going to do this cool glitch here. Um, in the game, whenever you use the magic cape and you grab and pull a wall and hold it, notice that my magic bar is not depleting. I am invincible, but I am not losing any magic, so. Cool trick to show your friends and enemies. Right, 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 right. So, by the way, if you notice that the uh, the pattern is randomized on the tiles, one of those cool things about Animizer. And it wasn't worth it. So, since we did not get a key, we are now forced to go back to the left side. Uh, no key, can't do right side. So, we have three so far. And here comes number four. Rip. Just bombs. Alrighty. Oh, that, so the key, there's normally a key in that, in that bottom right corner. But it's not there. So, it's right there this time. Alright, so what's up now? We got five. Another key. Six is a single arrow. Seven is yet another key. Eight is just magics or money. So if you said one through eight, you're a loser. Cookie, what's up? Oh, oh well, looky there. There's a maroar. Okay, you're still a winner in my book. Where are we at now? Nine? I'm not paying attention. What? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. All right, so uh, number 10 is coming up next. Why is he blocking the portal? Brad, please. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been a problem. We made this one. What am I doing? This is not vanilla. All right, number 11 coming up. Nope. It's gonna be fun if I had to go to the left side to grab a key, just to go back, so. All right, 12, 13, 14, and 15 next stops. All right, so we got 12. No. 13. No. 14. Uh-uh. 15. I don't think so. Yes, it is. If you said 15, you have just one cake. Pretty convenient to find mirror before that. So. Now that we have that, we can now make our climb up to uh, save Princess Marge. Yeah. Hey y'all, uh, don't forget, man. If you, uh, again, you need to be in Fat Body Stream. If you go to Fat Body Stream, if you want to help raise money to get four of my fellow speed fasters into attending Summer Games on Quake 2019, make sure you go to Fat Body Stream, which where you should be watching anyway, and click on his donation button there, or you can sub on hit to his stream. Or cheer in his stream, not mine. Don't give me the stuff. Cause I ain't giving them nothing. No, I'm joking. But uh, we're trying to see if we can get Rays to get all them knuckleheads there to perform their their magical speed fast. Their magical speed fasts. All right. Uh, do -do 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 -do. 
you to pardon me coming through. I don't really need that. I ain't scared. Okay, I'm good. See, oh, sees are good once you know what you're doing, right? Okay, this is definitely one of the better intermizers. No, no enemy, no boss issues, thankfully. So, a lot of times, the intermizer because. You know, you don't know what you're gonna get in the climb, and these are the 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 V Torp strats. Just bombos everything. It usually kills most things. Saves you the frustration of running all over the room trying to kill them or whatever. And typically, it ends up being quicker. Again, we got magic refills. So, it can be a little bit more, you know, splurgy. Uh, all right, our next boss. Well, I don't quite have enough for that, so. So we always have some potions and enemies because you just don't know what you're going to see. So that will take care of him. We're going to save our magic here. Wow, nice lag. Oh, cool. What's up, yo? How you doing? Right, go to Fat Body Channel. Yeah, and this random miles is, is quite an experience. Um, I mean, a light, lot more, um, a lot more work sometimes. Just keeping up with, you, you know, that's another move. I don't run too often, but man. Especially when there are multiple modes of the interest rate. For those who don't know, you know, there's an interest randomizer that you can actually shuffle where doors lead you to. It can be as simple as just shuffling the dungeon interests themselves and just like, okay, you know, just your light world dungeons are shuffled and everything else is the same. Or it can be as complex as every single interest and exit anywhere can be shuffled. You know, you could walk into a spike cave and end up going into Ganon's Tower, walk out and end up in Ice Cave or something. Not what I want to do there. So this is a pretty nice room here. Um, this room can be awful in a miles of it. Um, we haven't even seen a Chain Chomp yet, which is actually pretty shocking. I know one time that torch randomized to a chain chomp. Can we talk about not fun? Pro tip to save time. No, I'm not getting on my pro tips. I know the tips. Just because I don't do them, don't mean I don't know them. I ain't trying to impress nobody. Besides, I can't use red block on that one because the enemies are randomized. Trust me, I know. Everybody wants me to be a speedrunner. I already know the tips. I think I commented 47 races. See, I don't have to do... See, I don't think that's the joy about being a speedrunner. You just don't do it just because you know it. Sometimes you want to keep stuff on a more basic level because you realize your audiences aren't always concerned about going fast. Some people don't even know what you've been doing. So even when you go fast, they don't even know what not doing fast stuff is. See? That's what I've learned about being a speedrunner. You have to think about the, the bulk of your audience. You know? When it comes to races, oh yeah, if you're not Andy, you're wrong. I been that I already been that round. That's all the fun stuff. There's nobody any does. Well, I'm gonna need you to check your browser title and see who stream you in. Okay, thanks. Nah I mean. Nah I mean. Man, we are getting a lot of these all of a sudden. How does coast here? It must be cold up here in this tall mountain here. Uh I don't think it was many highlights, honestly. So we're gonna be a little careful here because we we do have a um, we do have a uh, a desire to not fall off here or die. 
like I'm about to do if I'm not careful. <laughs> so... Yeah, don't you love, don't you love this kind of stuff? So anyway, yeah, go fast. So you stream for seven hours, yes and no. This is, everybody's streaming. Yeah. Yeah, Fat Body is streaming multiple people. Again, he's just basically capturing other people's streams onto his. So for instance, when I'm done with my segment, He's going to take his window capture and put it on someone else's stream. His stream never stops. He's just, you know, he's just pointing his window capture to someone else's. You know? So really no reason to stop your stream when he just window captures someone else's. Well, I should actually pay attention here. So we don't die. You just had to do that, didn't you? So we need to hit this dude six times. And not die first. But I don't have many hearts here. I should be a little careful here. No one wants you to hold climb again. I should, I should probably be careful here. You know, I just have to make it a little more a little suspenseful. Y'all you know, like suspenseful fights anyway. There we go. Oh! oh my god, look at his face. So we don't really have a lot of health for our old boy right now, you know. Just a, just a tad low on health, you know. Just a, just a smidge. So we're just gonna. I don't, I don't really need too much magic. So we're just gonna go down here, go get a fairy real quick. There's a fairy down here in this tree. being bold today I want to be aggressive in the fight I don't I, yeah. I guess I'll be I guess I'll I guess I'll be soft I guess I'll be soft break out your pillows yo big J big J soft I mean I got 13,000 rupees not thousand You know, just maybe look at a little refill. Ain't no point being silly. You know, and since I got the monies, since I got the manies. All right, let's go fight Ganon. Where was that? It was so, got a snake in my bush. How realistic. All right, let's go. Kill the evil pig monster. And All right, you all. So, Ganon fight. Fun stuff. So, let's go for the early hit here. My minions all failed to guard those items. Why am I surrounded by incompetent fools? Monkey. All right, so depending on what your sword level here is, you may require more or so hits here. So the first phase is him just throwing his little thing all around the game. That's the first phase. Next phase, he breaks out his fire. And just to make my life a little easier, just so I can try to get out this phase quickly. Alright, so we're on the third phase now. Third phase requires four hits per 
a total of four hits. Every every time the floor collapses, just one hit. It doesn't matter what sword you have. It's always four hits. So it's good. Wait till it teleports and calms down here. Bruh. Of course, once we're done with this phase, we can kill him with silvers. Stun with a... Alright, we're gonna get this. Let me get a triple here. Let's see, are you happy? Did you want some speed strats? Casual triple. The, you, it, you, see, I don't want to. I don't want to body everybody in the tournaments. That's why I don't play them. Hey, that's time. Someone go wake up, fat body. Oh, hey, it's you. All right, you all. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Start it over again. Okay, coming up next, Hex Sandy. Full, no, insane entrance randomizer, Inamizer, and Key Sandy. Let's go. No. But actually, we're going to play a different game. I got another game coming up for you. We're going to turn, we're going to kind of change the theme here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna observe these floating heads and that decapitated body there for some reason. So we're gonna shift over from the Legend of Zelda to the Legend of Raccoon City. Okay. All right. So, we're going to do Resident Evil 3. Hyro is jacked up. Yeah. Are you in the right chat? No. You're in my chat. Alright, so let me get set up for that as you all enjoy the credits there. Because I have to do very, very advanced maneuvers to set this up. Things that you have to go to school to learn how to do. And stuff. Alrighty. I'm going to see if I can modify this layout. Just a smidge here. Yeah, I haven't played. I haven't played RE3. I played it a while back for another marathon a few weeks ago. Um, so, so we're going to get rid of our of that. Ain't no boots in RE3. Well, not yet, anyway. All right, so uh, let's go. So who hasn't seen Resident Evil 3? Again, I'm not no top player. I, I can get through it pretty slow, but hey, that's all y'all want to see it. As long as it gets beaten, right? Maybe? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to run this here. I got my controller all set up here. So say goodbye to Zelda. Oh, my God, the guards are kind of jacked up. So how about you unblock me? You're asking the wrong person, my friend. Yeah, yeah. See, see I, this is not my stream. Yeah, so, yeah. If you got problems with being blocked, you, you need to go put a complaint into the person who owns the stream. Can't help you on that one. <laughs> Don't you know how to use Twitch yet? You know, it's funny. Someone yesterday asked me to unban them in a channel. Like, they, they came in my stream, moan because you are banned in someone else's channel. Like, unban me. I said, you know what? I said, I ain't got nothing else to do with you, but hello. I'm not even a moderator in that channel. Why are you gonna ask someone to unbang you who's not even a mod in that channel in the first place? Nor they, like, hello. Someone, someone remind these people how Twitch works. <laughs> a moderator, a non mod cannot unban someone who's been banned. Like, what? I'm gonna pass out some, some pamphlets. All right, goodbye, Hyrule. 
and say hello to wow HD remaster here Ooh. okay 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 all right here we go so let's see if I can give you a little more enhancements. I'm gonna turn on the uh, let's turn on the uh, the fun the fun little thing that shows you my health and all that cool stuff. I'm trying to see I'm trying to see on the re on the recapture where it's gonna be at. Uh, I think I can squeeze it in right below my right below my name. I think I can squeeze it in right there. Let's see if I can squeeze it in. I'm trying to, I have to wait for the latency to show up. Let's see. I'm trying to squeeze it in when it shows up. Unless he's not capturing the way I think he's capturing it. Oh, he's not. Okay, so I need to move it. We'll put it, uh, we'll put it right about right back there there you go well we'll put it right down about right there right there right there I want you I want y'all to be able to see all the cool stuff down here yeah that work. there you go so what you see the bottom allows you to see my health and all that cool stuff so all right y'all give me a number from one to eight I need y'all to give me a number between one and eight. Um, that will determine what outfit we use in this run. Um, I also need to uh, open up my notes here. See, see all my all my cool code here. See all this code that's gonna help me win the game. Not, nah, I wish. You know, you can't be a you can't be a Resident Evil Three speedrunner and not have all your 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 uh, all your letters and all your your codes and your solutions and all that mess you know I mean how would I ever solve the water table puzzle right all right here we go so it looks like the Wayne number in chat is wait I ain't got no controller Brad what's up with that hold on I ain't got no buttons uh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. This ain't this ain't good. Hold on, hold on a second. We ain't got no buttons. We ain't got no buttons, bruh. Let's see. Open, open my and open re three. All right, hold on. I mean, we, got, I mean, we ain't got no buttons. We got a problem here. I mean, we can't really play the game. We ain't got no buttons. Alrighty. Now the time the timer is actually connected to the game, actually, uh, which is pretty cool. Up. Yeah. So the 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 timer you see. Um, they have worked pretty extensively on a lot of the PC versions of RE3, um, just like Remake, RE, um, RE Remake, RE2 Remake, um, they have scripts to actually read the end game timer. So, um, which is how the game is timed anyway in this particular, uh, run. So, we need to open, make sure I got my buttons here. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, apparently I reset my buttons here. Let's see here, keyboard, and let's see, what is, uh... No, 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 oh no, I don't control that time. No, that's being window capture, that's that's on Fatbody's computer. I can't do that, he's asleep. He... <sighs> 
Yeah, I can't. Unfortunately, I can't. I can't take that out. Cause that's on his. He's just. That's on part of his OBS capture. So it's going to be stuck like that until. Until. Until it comes back. Is it? That's the next one. I, I, I know. Yeah, poor baby. All right, I think we're good now. Oh wait, I don't have my I don't have my start button. All right, no, we're not loading from our file. Let's go. Look, I just said we're not loading from a file. All right, so the wing number was one, two, let's see, five, let's see, we got two fives, three sixes, two eights. Looks like six is going to win it. I can't read that mess. It all began as an ordinary day in September. Wait, I don't have a button. An ordinary day in the Coon City. A city controlled. God dog it, man. What's my, oh my, I can't even see that. What does that say? Do not save. Oh my lord, my profile got wiped. Lord have mercy. Oh, hold on, God dog it. Okay. That's not good. I have. Don't you just hate when you lose your uh, your keys here? All right, so um, let's just let's just see if I can get this going real quick. I gotta remount my buttons here. Dude, I have a key saying that I did not ask for here. But I'm not sure why. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was the Coon City's last chance. <laughs> Dude, oh my goodness. All my all my keys have been like changed here. All right, we'll get it set up. We'll, we'll figure it out as we're playing. All right, can I run? Okay. All right. Where's my pause button at? All right, there you go. Let's move this over. Take that off. I'm about to die. Oh my god, my buttons are all jacked up here. All right, we get we can shoot again. <laughs> Dude, wait. Where's my pause at? Right, there you go. Thank you all for your patience here, cause uh, I blame I blame Fat Body. You know what? All right, let's make sure my menus are good here. Did I keep it? I keep it. Get wait, hold on. Stop! Stop! All right, 
I got the same. Okay, here we go. Okay. I think we're okay. No, we're not. Did I get? We'll figure this out some way, form or fashion. All right, so anyway, let's keep going. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to get my my buttons mapped back correctly. Daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Alright, so here we go, yo. So what we're gonna do. Yeah, like I'm missing a button right here. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for that button. Alright. Dude, we're, we're, okay, let's, let's make sure we're good. Okay. This should be my shoot button. Alright, this should be my shoot button. Where's my shoot button? Alright, there you go. We're gonna put that there. But please remind me to save my configuration once I fix it. All right. Okay, we're moderately okay now. Let's go. We're moderately okay. So the first thing we gotta do is get the heck up out of this building. So we gotta go in here. I right, go grab a key. Wait, hold on. Let me save it right now. Save. All right, let's go. So we need a key to get up out of here. Otherwise, we'll be stuck in here and we die. So RG3 is known for being an RNG nightmare. Um, tons of part of the game, there's literally uncontrollable RNG. Um, just about every single puzzle in this game is RNG. Um, and of course, for speed runs, you usually just brute force stuff. Um... So like this, for instance, if that doesn't open up automatically, then what we do is we uh, open it, turn around, come back. That way the zombies have dispersed themselves out so we can actually get down here because we want to get this uh, shotgun and some other stuff. RNG is an acronym. See? Easy question. So... RNG is an acronym for random number generator. So basically just simply put the randomness of the game. Things that are not always the same every time you play it. And this game is that. Now many things in this game that are all random, um, there are ways to know exactly, for instance, the puzzles. You can go somewhere and find what the solutions are, but that takes time. And that's why in most speedruns you just basically gamble as to what the solution is from a list of knowns. You know, you don't have, like for instance, our, the, the infamous uh, Sasprin puzzle has three possible solutions. There's a more common one, but usually it's not that. Because why not? The game's gonna be mean to you. And uh, a lot of things are 50-50, and usually you always choose the wrong one. So, in this cutscene, we're going to actually skip it. Um, again, this path is required. We need to go over here and grab our lighter because, you know, Jill's an arsonist and all. Again, tools we need to proceed through the game. And, of course, in true Resident Evil fashion, a little backtracking. So, this guy is going to be kind of here. We're just going to go over here to the side because he's not too bright. 
This part is random as to when the thing breaks. Hope it doesn't break quickly. So we want to combine these together. Um, hopefully before that bust. And even while it's burning, when those things break through, um, the burning continues so you can just instantly go in. But again, those things are not consistent as to when it breaks free or when they break away, should I say. So here's our first um, matter of uh, path deciding randomness. Now, first of all, we have this cutscene, which I don't remember what it says. But one is to fight the monster. One is to just run away. So we're going to just bounce. Yeah, I can't, tr I can't, tr I can change my stream, though. So first of all, if we see a zombie, we go forward. So this is the not desirable RNG on this particular room, but it's all good. But coming up is our first puzzle. Um, there are four known possible solutions. And we're going to go for the first one, which is wrong. Let's try 4011. Not that one either. Let's try 4312. Whoops, not 4444. Four. Three, one, two. It's not that one. Great. So that means it's 4011. Wait, I can't actually type right. Zero, one, three, one. Four, zero, one, one. Zero, not, zero, five, one, three. You know what? This is why I don't run this game because I can't press buttons correctly. Yeah, seventh try on a four possible solution puzzle. Yes, yeah, so I'll change the game card. Y'all not y'all won't lose sleep over it, I promise you. Worst case scenario, they see Resident Evil and they're like, ooh. That'd be alright. I didn't not mean to run to her untreated the hand. Why does it say because I didn't change the game title? Y'all will live, I promise you. If it's on fat by a stream, he's probably asleep. So you have to deal with it. Unless unless there's a command that someone can't change it. So so you can either get the grenade launcher or the magnum there. And I got what I didn't want to see. Don't worry. You'll instantly know what it is when you see the gameplay. I promise you. Well, I mean, unless you don't know what Resident Evil games are. Dude, this big thick guy. Yes, dude, Palace of Darkness has gotten really crazy. Hey, look, there's our friend. So that's our, our first instance of Resident Evil Nemesis. I'm actually going to add something to the layout here for a second, just to show you. Um, because this is actually a cool feature of the game. So if you look here on the, uh, if you look on the bottom of the layout there, you see this red bar. I'm going to move this reset button away. I want to make it so y'all can actually see it pretty decently here. So you see that red bar. That bar is actually the health of any boss that is on the screen. In this case, it happens to be Nemesis. So he has 800 health. Whenever that bar is red, that means Nemesis could show up. Wow, that's my back. <laughs> so, um, and he has a finite number of missiles or a rockish that you can see over there as well. Uh, once he once he runs out, then he can't shoot anymore. He can still just grab you and all that stuff. I'm just gonna repair my health here. I've been kind of lollygagging here. All right, so once he get that, we just need to get that stuff and bounce out. Um, the jewel being that important item. So, of course, in typical RU fashion, we go run around and go find something else to do, right? All right? Let me change my game real quick so you all won't have a... Uh, you all won't have a cow. Resident... I should put Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 8. Resident Evil 8. Jill's mad. All right, there we go. Well, that's on mine anyway. All right, so here we go. So we continue here. So our next matter of business is to pick up even more goods. Now, as you can see, there is a blue herb there. 
Um, sometimes you'll see green herbs there. And the way this game is configured, um, the placement is random. If you don't see those green herbs there, we're going to see them a little bit later where the battery is. So we're just going to run around him. And we're going to drop off some stuff. We got way too much stuff in the inventory. So I'm going to use this. And we are going to put down our shotgun. And we're going to put away our lighter. We don't need them anytime soon. So let's bob and weave here so we don't get doggy do on our lovely jean skirt dress here. Alright, so we got a little cutscene here. Hope he doesn't take off my patellas. So, scum! So we're gonna just go behind him and hopefully we can get to this and not worry about nothing. Now, zombies cannot grab you on the staircase. They just puke on you. And we're keeping a lockpick because we need to go over here and grab this lovely uh, hook. <clears throat> which we will immediately use to um, run away. <clears throat> so, again, another Nemesis encounter. Again, every, every encounter for Nemesis except for uh, three are optional. So we're going to go down here underground in the basement of this restaurant. Nemesis is so strong he just bodies the plumbing. And we're just going to get up out of here and have Carlos give me a boost. Alrighty, so, so we don't like you, so bye. Oh, I was going to shoot you. Oh, pump. All right, so we're just going to keep on going here, and uh, what we need to do is uh, work on our inventory. So in order to access the next part of the game, we need to find the other jewel, which is over here in this area. But first, we push this lovely trans semi-transparent stepladder. So we're going to push it 11 times so we can turn on this uh, fire thing here. We can go upstairs. Now, another thing about this game is depending on what order you traverse these locations kind of determines how things can spawn. Um, one of the older routes used to go here earlier and you would actually end up with Nemesis spawning. Instead, we're going to have the big guy. And I, want, I didn't want to go quite that far. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah. Yeah, I kind of ran a little too far down the hallway. And now, once we grab the other jewel, we're out. So we have both of the jewels. This will allow us access to the other part of the map. You can play RE3. I always do. I've been playing RE3 off and on for years. Where you been? All right, so now we have all this stuff. We're going to go over here and deposit these. Take that one. And... And that one. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty decent, you know. You know, top 300. Let's go. Dude, I totally do old route. I to I totally do old strat. It's not even it's not even the consist the current route. I mean, hey, it was enough for me to commentate it at a GDQ. Me and me and Carsey co commentated that 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 race. That was just oh boy. That was some race. We can have dogs or zombies here. Dogs are preferred by far. This, well, you know what? This game is honestly not that long. The thing about this game is, I mean, it's not like linear, but there aren't that many like paths off of the main track to go. You know? Jill, put this on. So. GDQ is an abbreviation for Games Done Quick, which is a twice a year event that speedrunners attend to raise money for charities. Yep. So it's a week long event, and that's why people are in the stream today, hopefully, because four of the speedrunners in the community that <clears throat> are 
that uh, Fat Body knows pretty well are all have runs. They're all doing speed runs in the event, which is next month. And uh, that's why we are here. We are trying to help them raise money so they can attend the event. Sounds gay? Oh, well, there is a, a two-year attitude. So, guess what? I guess you must be that too, because you're sitting here watching the same runs that people we playing. Anyway, we'll go back to the adult people. So, these are going to show up here, and here we go. Yep. And so we're going to let him hold on. So there's those herbs we saw earlier. I mentioned that if you didn't see them on the old area, you would see them here. I'm just going to pick it up because obviously Jill's over there holding her, her spleen over here. And there we go. Uh, wow. How about that shot right there? That was, that was the warning shot. There you go. So we're going to go pick up this lovely tablet here. We need to use this tablet. Do a little exchange here. I'm going to combine these now and go ahead and be done with it. Those will give me full health when I use them. Is Fat Body asleep? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's asleep. You know, poor baby. He's been working so hard. Tough crowd. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just, I, I'm, be, I'm beyond the three-year-old joke, sorry. Uh, I mean, I can understand someone who's, you know, just learned to speak for jokes like that. But, yeah. We mature and we get better content. So we're going to go put this tablet here, and then we're going to do that, and we're going to take this. Yeah, if, yeah. well, first of all, you didn't donate to me, because if you donated to me, I already, I already had stuff go off. So, please, please, we don't got time for liars. Come on now. I already got one, and it's the president. Oh, I'm so sorry it slipped out. I'm so sorry. Sorry. I just forget. Yeah. All right, so back we go. So we're going to keep going around here, and we're going to buy this dude who I missed the first time. Come here, I got something for you. I got a present. All right, bye. Yeah, we already, dude, we already, we already had chosen the games we're going to play. Yeah, everybody already knows what they're going to play. Just got to wait till we get there. So we're going to go back with this battery. I'm still holding my spleen here, unfortunately. So we're going to go take that tablet we got and swap it out for Big J Battery. This is the thing that ruined my blind play through this game. We did a blind race in this game, and man, this battery was a noun of a night on the fun. So now, once I get from outside that edge, we go back the way we just came. You know, since we got these magnum bullets, I'm just saying. Look at the pretty, the pretty ketchup. Alrighty. <clears throat> so this time we're gonna, um, yeah. We're gonna take this um, battery we just got. And we're going to head up here to this area. Now, earlier we did not get our, our grenade launcher. But I'm a little off the hitbox. This game is fun because if you're not, like, perfectly on the um, the hitbox of these things, you have to kind of move over just a tad. So, uh. so we're going to try to hug this wall over here. Uh oh At least that was the plan. Right, let's just move them out the way a little bit. <laughs> Anyways. I'm so cute, they just want to hug me. Alright, so first of all, in here, we got two things we're going to do here. First, we got to turn this thing on. And we need to play some math here. So the pattern is up, 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 down. This will open the uh, right door. Um, this will actually give us the, the grenade launcher. And then we have an option here. Um, we're going to choose the option which is to escape. And we're going to basically run out the back door. Because we're scared. 
But we need to go back in there because there is a required item we need. Oh, Rock. Give it up. We're, we're moving on. I can't read donations anyway. I don't even see them. So if you, just, if you did that, great. Fantastic. But I can't read them if I wanted to. I don't have access to it. We're going to get that says on a caution. Now we need to open the other one, which is the up, down, down, down. Having a number between 20 and 40 opens the left door. And this is fun math. So, you know, a little... A little skill and you can figure out how easy that puzzle really is with numbers. Now that we have all the stuff we need, we're bouncing. Alright, so now we're going to take all these goods we got. We got to make our way back again. A little backtrack. You see that red bar? Yep, that means Nemesis can show up. So whenever you see that red bar show up, Nemesis could just plop on screen at any given time. Let's just wait for him, man. Yeah, this one get kind of close first. All right, so we're gonna put down uh, empty guns because empty guns don't do anything <laughs> besides weigh you down. All right, so again, back we go. Now, what I need to do now is we have to get all the parts we need in order to get to the next area. So we're going to need some, uh, we're going to need the fuse, we're going to need the power cable, we need some oil additive, all the good stuff. But we're going to take this wrench we got, and, uh, whoops, not kind of run drunk here, and unscrew off this fire hose. Yes, you are, Dan. You sure are. Alright, we're gonna pick that up and uh go play Fire Lady. So we don't get sniped here. Nice. Again, they can kinda of just slash your thigh when you're running by. This screen could have dogs or hunters. I mean dogs or zombies. And now we're gonna go put this. And guess where we're going? We're gonna go right through where that fire is. Again, we ran through this area earlier. Now coming up next is the uh, another random part of the game. The intended thing is to watch a little video presentation which will give you the solution. Uh, one of three possible solutions. The most common one being Sasprin. And uh, it's the one we typically try. So Sasprin. And today it is indeed Sasprin. Yay. So I think I believe mathematically it's a two-thirds of a chance being that. Even though there are three options. Usually that one. So we're gonna go in here and get some goods. Now notice there's some gunpowder over there to my right. I might pick up one just to have one. We're gonna be combining some gunpowder to make some cool ammo later. Alberson, please, God, this, uh, Lord have mercy, this is a, okay, this is a restream. A stream is live, and it's being restreamed to other locations, okay? So, yes. Again, as I said, read the title. Why do I have so many problems with you lately? Oh, my God. I, 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 every time you're in my stream, I got issues with you. I'm trying to raise money for people here now. Lord have mercy, okay. Help me, Jesus. Give me the strength. Give, give me the strength to control the things. Yes. If you're in my stream, please go to what the title and the command that has been promoted every five minutes says. Thank you. Why would it say recording? It literally says live on my stream. It literally says live. L I B E. Live. It says live. It says live. It literally says live right above. It says L I V E. I don't want this one. I want the yellow one. <laughs> uh, help me, Jesus. One of them days. All right, so we're going to take this gunpowder here while other people try to figure out Twitch at the five years. Uh, we're going to combine this A and C together because we're going to make some cool flame rounds we're going to use later. 
Anyway, please talk in the other channel. That's my focus. I'm raising money for charity. So make sure you all are focusing in Fat Bodies channel as the title indicates. Thank you very much in advance. I may or may not read you if you're in my stream talking. Yo, act like I've not. Dude, I did this like a million times for fundraising, and now y'all acting all brand new. I tell you. So we're gonna pick up one more thing here. We need this. Um, we need this uh, power cable here. But of course, stuff has to happen. Oh, I forgot. You don't watch my stream. You wouldn't know that. Ooh, yep. Called you out. Called you out. <coughs> so we need uh, a couple more things here in order to make this happen. Uh, we're going to go put down a couple things here. We don't really need this anymore. And uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and uh, we're gonna get rid of that. Of all the times I've restreamed across five years on Twitch, I don't know why today someone is so confused about it. I have I have no idea. As many times as I've streamed here and done races and commentary and fundraisers that are broadcast on another stream, I, I don't know why it's so different today for some reason. Don't forget the crank. We need this crank because we're going to have some problems in a little bit here. All right, so we need that crank, and that's the crank that used to get early in the run, but a little bit later now. Because we are going to... Yeah, isn't that scary? We're going to go over here and grab one more thing we need. Oh, Rob, I cannot see donations. The donations are going to Fat Body's channel. I am not Fat Body. Anything that's donated through Fat Body's stream is under his control and will show up. I can't see that information. As I have said a couple times here. So I can't say you have or haven't because I can't tell you you have or haven't because I don't have access. That's his account. I'm not sure why you're stuck on that. I told you that like 30 minutes ago. I can't see the information. Nobody can except for Fat Body, who's probably getting some well deserved rest right now. So when he comes back, he can surely read whatever you sent there. Let's play some lights out here. So, in order to access this puzzle, we have to actually press the buttons. Whatever button you press, the status of the opposite buttons changes. Oh, Rock, it's not my. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Rock, I, we'll, talk, we'll give you a hands on later. Yeah, you putting my name doesn't mean anything. You could put anybody's name. You could put Oprah's name on there. That's not my account. Besides, the names are when they receive the donation, show the actual person anyway. Tied through your PayPal or credit card account. So, if you try to be someone else, trust me. The transaction will always show who it really is, regardless of what name you tipped or donated with. So. Alrighty, so um, we have all the components we need now. Katrina, what's up? See, thank you. I need to do it. So we have one more little section we have to deal with here. Um, she's still holding her spleen, of course. Don't worry, Fat Bay will be back after this, Brandon, or somebody will wake him up. So we got this little worm section here. Alright, so in order to get past this section, we have to get the ladder to activate to get out of here. So, we're going to go over here, press this button, and run away. Then we're going to go ahead and press this button again, twice. And if you do it quick enough, the worm shouldn't show up at all. Uh, there's a little piece of them, but it's all good. So, you want to be careful. That's one of those parts of the game where if you kind of miss the hitbox where the button is, you could get bodied very quickly with that worm. The worm can do 30 damage per attack. And usually you'll probably get hit twice, which is not fun. Now let's combine all this stuff together. So we're going to take this move this together. There's our oil and all additive. We need our 
We need to press the right button first. <laughs> we need our our power cables. We need our fuse. And that takes care of that section. So now we have a cutscene we're kind of skipping. The train's all jacked up. And he's like, go back and check. Mikhail. Mikhail and guess who's here? So ain't nobody got time for Nemesis, so back we go. We're gonna leave him to die because we're just cruel people. And no, the brakes are out. Yes, they are. More of that Star Trek lean action. So what happens when the brakes are out? You know what you do. You obviously do this. It's useless. No. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Yep. You just jump out of a moving car head first and just stop, drop, and roll, and yeah. So, Pretty new what's going on? So, of course, all the zombies are still not dead. And we're going to go over here and grab a key we need. No, not that way. Oh, this might be bad getting back. I think I might get grabbed. Mm. All right, so now we're into our, our house. Here's a gift for you. He's gonna give me a gift because he's just that nice. Now, if you have full inventory, which is typically what you have, you'll actually skip this because, well, you have no free slots. Um, randomly, you'll see something on the table there. All right, so now that we're in this part of the mansion, um, we got some things to do. Uh, first of all, more RNG enemies. That's not desired enemy by any means. So you may have health here. We got gunpowder here. Now we have our first required nemesis fight in the game coming up. Alright. Um, you have to kill nemesis to proceed the game forward. And uh, optimally what I'll use is frost rounds here. So we're going to take two A's. A and B make C because that's how math works. Whoops. We want to combine this with our gunpowder to make this, and now we're good. We also want to pick up this little key because we need it for a little bit later. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is a remake. Yeah, Fat Body is probably rested, so he probably can't change the game on his own channel. So then we're going to take this portion of the key and go upstairs to which is overdue now. It's overdue another RNG puzzle. So coming up is the music box puzzle. Now we are playing the Taiwanese version of the game. And in this version of the game, the solution is always the same. The RNG portion is based, is the starting position of the pegs. Best case scenario is, is literally one change. Knowing me, I'll probably have to do five. So the solution from A to F is up, down, up, up, down, up. Up meaning the peg is towards the center of the giant dial. Down meaning it's towards the edge, the, the circumference or the perimeter of it. So in this case, we have, um, we need to make uh, three changes. So, so we're gonna do skip, down for B. Then we got skip, skip, up for D. And next, next, up for F. And then we play it. There you go. Easy game. All right. So once we do that, we will get the other portion of the key that we need to progress to the next part of the, the um, house. And back downstairs we go. But of course, as you see, the red bar, not without confrontation. So, um, the options here are to fight him or push him off, which we have done. Notice the broken banister. So now we go back downstairs this time, except this time we're going to go kind of towards where we first came in at and go into this door. Now that we have both parts of the key we need. Combine it together. And it, it prompts me, hey, you don't need this anymore. You're going to get rid of it. No. 
You gotta be careful. You can't get poisoned on spiders. That's not fun. Now, um, yeah, you can find it. Yeah, you can learn that puzzle. Yeah, it's pretty, it, all it says is up, down, up. You can just, it tells you audibly. The, the music, when you hear like, <laughs> that means you hear the wrong note. Yeah. Now, this puzzle is a little bit more detailed. Um, there are these three um, jewels over here. Amethyst, Obsidian, and, and uh, Crystal. And based on where you place these in these three clocks, well, it's just a middle one. And you want to have midnight or 12 on the center clock. But you can tell what the solution is because there are only six possible patterns. And based on what the starting time is, we'll tell you exactly how to move them all in the first place. So if you see 9 o'clock in the center, uh, these are things we talk about for RE runners. You already know all the possible setups. So it's not as hard as it appears to be. So on this particular setup from left to right, we're going to put up City on the left one, Amber on the middle one, and Crystal on the light one. And that will make... Noon. Yeah. Hopefully my, my uh, audible cue explained is like, when you hear the right note, it plays good. When it plays wrong, it's like, oh. Well, maybe not like that, but it sounds obviously wrong. So now we're going to go back. Um, we now have... <laughs> We now have that gear, and because we're gonna go right back upstairs, because now we are getting towards our first required fight of the game. So, regardless of what category you choose to play, uh, again, no way around this one. So, we're gonna go up here, grab this gear, um, and then we're gonna place it in place. First of all, we're gonna equip our Grenade rounds, combine these together and use that. It is very comfy, see? The funny zombie dies. Think about how many enemies Mario kills. I mean, bruh. So here we go. We're going to load up our grenade launcher, our rocket launcher, grenade launcher with our ammo. And uh, here comes our first required fight. If you watch the health bar in the bottom right of the layout, you can see his health. So we're going to wait just a second and then well away. But he's going to fall down. And we're just going to aim down and well away. Is that juke? Alright, so that takes care of Nemesis. Again, my first blind play through this game, all I had was like a knife and like like 15 handgun bullets, not fun. October 1st. Not fun. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. So right now, Jill is unfortunately poisoned. So she can't do nothing. So now we take over as Carlos. Big C. All right, so now Cardo seems to go get the, um, basically find the cure to get her fixed, because she jacked up. Impressionally, I have no idea what you're talking about. So we're basically just going back the path he, that Laura done got poisoned. Lord, how mercy I done got poisoned. So this puts a new, um... This puts a new caveat in this run now all of a sudden. I could go back and heal my poison. Or I could just play it forward. But, dude, I'm yelling with you. Let's go. So, when you're poisoned, you lose one HP per second. Um, until you die. So, uh, we are now introduced to our hunter sections. So because I'm poisoned, we're going to actually go over here and grab this health. So when we get too low, we can just reheal again. Yeah, the 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 um the fight is pretty scripted. Um, can I stop running into couches? Yeah, he always falls down after a certain number of, of, of hits. So it's pretty it's pretty trivial. 
Uh, when his HP gets to a certain amount, he falls down. So when you have a very powerful gun like I just had, you know, it's pretty free. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here and go up to the fourth floor. We may have hunters or zombies. Because we don't have zombies here, we're going to probably have them downstairs. Now, in this sequence of the game, uh, we need to get access to the stuff. So the first thing we have to do is go up here and grab a key. First required thing to do, and then we bounce. Now, here's the big, probably one of the most frustrating parts of this game, is the 50-50 coin flip here. And we're going to gamble it. Why not? So, here's the 50-50 room. There is this cabinet that you have to push. This little, and you have to access the cabinet. So, it's always going to go against the wall. Now, the cabinets are actually on the side that Carlos is on right now. So, um, it's a gamble. If it's the left or the right side. So we're going to go for the close side and pray. If it's wrong, I'm going to redo it. Every speedrunner of R3 hates me now. Now, because we got it right on <laughs> the first try, um, the combination is based on where we push it to. Which, in this case, um, 325 corresponds to the corner I pushed it into. Um, if you mess, if you gamble wrong, you have to walk out the room and then come back and reset it. So, um, a very, very, uh, heavy reset point in the run if you do that. If you go to the room before that room, there's actually tells you what it is. There's a guy that's dead that literally has the combination on him. So you know what to do, but it's, again, it's slower. Now, mind you, we didn't have any hunters there. Which means we're going to have hunters um, a little bit later. So in this room, we're just going to run behind them. And again, watch my health. i got to watch my health, y'all, because, uh, you know, we're, we're dribbling away of death here. So this solution is static. Uh, we're going to grab this, like, paste I just grabbed and place it down here. This upcoming puzzle <laughs> has all these, like, gears and stuff. Um, and you want to make the two left little bars equal each other. And by doing this, you can just flip gears 1, 3, and A. Um, caution. So, 100. 100 or lower. Yeah, 100 or lower, and I can be insta-killed by hunters. Wait, did I grab it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, did I grab it? So if I'm smart, I will use my, I will use my, um, I will use it now. So I won't get one death swipe. Uh, so this hunter is not too bright. You can just run behind him. Now because we had zombies here, you don't have hunters. So it, again, how they spawn determines what shows up. So, so now we just gotta get out of here. So now we're just going back to June. And we should be fine. I got a I got 164 seconds to get back there. Now, by the way, if you notice during cutscenes, the timer, my, my health doesn't decrement. Only when I actually have control of the character, so. So I literally got two minutes to change. Of course, in the meantime, so I've been doing this, you know. We got leeches and stuff, and the guy who already poisoned while that took a chunk off. Don't worry, we're almost there. Just a few more rooms to go. So Nemesis is mad. He's also mutated, and uh, we don't have time for that. So again, you'll watch this. Uh. All right, so no biggie. So give Jill the potion and she's fine and now Carlos is still jacked up. He just fades to black, I guess, so. So what we're gonna grab now is we're gonna go ahead and grab, we need to grab the lighter and we're gonna grab the lock pick. Um, two things we do need. And just a few. So yet again, we're gonna kind of traverse the path that Carlos just took. Except Nemesis is very mad now. He has mutated. Uh, he will continue to follow me throughout the next few rooms here. St not stars, but st All 
can always tell that music change. All right, so this time we're actually going to go into this little office here. I don't know. This might be the last thing I'm playing. I'm not sure. Yeah. So what we're going to do is, because I love way too much ammo, and we're going to, I'm going to attempt to uh, just hug the wall here and just go up here. Xanto, what's popping? What's up, Cheese Slice? Up a stream, up a stream, Cheese Slice. So the next few rooms are random or enemies. We could have hunters here or or worms. We could also have hunters or or zombies here. Again, another hunters. The next screen could be hunters or dogs. We had hunters, hunters. Are we gonna go for the three piece of hunters? Okay, we got dogs. Thank God. Give me a break. So we need this key, and we're just going to about face it right back. Bye, oh, bye, doggy. Just got. I'm gonna need y'all to wake up. It's like five o'clock. So we're gonna make our way now across to the other side of the stage here, um, because we have another required fight coming up. Alrighty, um, we have this little draining solution. Two, three, five, two, four, one. So there are five. One, two, three, four, and five. The little map to the right shows you how to actually drain the water. And that little sign above the drain also tells you. Um, but you have to do that in exactly five moves. No more, no less. All right. So if you remember that worm we saw a little bit earlier... Yeah, we gotta kill Wormy Worm. Wormy Worm. So again, this is our, our second required fight in the run. No matter what category you're playing, this fight must be done. And uh, to do this fight, we're gonna use these bees. Uh, we're gonna take these... Um, uh, two bees here. Combining with these rounds and gives us 12. And we need this big stick. And just because I'm I'm gonna play a little soft here. Now what the while while I'm doing this, what we need to do right now is actually um burn this firewood and then use this that big stick I got to go through it. Now while this is happening, let's talk about something I haven't talked about is if you notice, traditionally in RE3 game or RE games, there's usually a transition between rooms, you know, when you're going up a staircase or down a staircase or through a door. But if you notice, I can skip that in this version. Um, this is a unique thing to the uh, Taiwanese or Chinese versions that you can skip door transitions. Um, there's actually a, a, there's not just a skip, but there's actually a, a timing to it to be optimal with it. Um, to get your door skips properly so you can actually kind of move before you really should. So it's not just mashing a button, but, you know, there's actually a rhythm to it, which uh, I don't have. So we're going to go grab that key. Uh, again, we need that key to actually get out of this whole side of the screen. But first, I required fight. Watch the health bar at the bottom right. Oh, so really good cycle there. So this is dumb. I know it doesn't make any sense. So we just need one more hit. And... Yeah, you can one cycle it. Now, getting one cycle in this actually involves getting a uh, quick shot, which is a actually is a pretty challenging like button input for me anyway. But you can one cycle it. Um, you basically are able to shoot when you do quick shot before you actually completely draw your gun back up. If that makes sense. 
So, so typically when you shoot, your gun goes downwards and it comes back up, but you're actually able to shoot again before your gun actually comes back upwards. So, uh, I'm not too good at that. I, I think Balkba actually made a tutorial for that. But yeah, it, it, that's a that's definitely if if you don't get, if you don't one cycle it, it's a pretty that's at the top level that's a reset. You know. Because you have you're gonna if you don't get a one side, you're probably gonna lose at least, you know, fifteen seconds from it. So that key we got is needed to access this lock. And uh, we're on the home stretch, you all. But first, you know what's up. Wow, nice donk view. But donker donk. The video was going on. So we're going to choose the option, which I believe is to jump off. Push the monster off. Yep. But nevertheless, we're in the final area of the game now. So, um, like before, we have to make some ammo. And in this case, we're going to be making freeze rounds. So we're going to take some A's. Let me actually put these here. Oop. Let me put these out. D -d 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 -d. All right, gonna get some yellow ones here. So the, the now we have some we have some flame rounds. We're actually gonna Lord, I'm gonna mix the I'm gonna mix the B and a C. Okay, that was an error. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. Well, um, okay. I'm not even sure what I don't even know what B and C actually is. Well, I mean, it's not in a Well, let's find out. Let's see. Well, let's make these first. Let's see what it makes. B and C. Okay. I didn't really know because I never, I never, I mean, you would make, you can use two Bs to make that. So that's a little awkward. But anyway, whatever. We're fine. We got enough ammo. Now, this next room here, Steam Puzzle. So what you're supposed to do is kind of traverse back and forth, turning off gauges to access um, this panel in front of me. But you can actually just kind of get close enough to it. The hitbox is so big that you can actually grab it without actually being beside of it, as we just did. The little, little cheesy cheese there. Let me go back and turn this one off. Turn this one off. On. And back we go. All right, so we're gonna just gonna squeeze behind this dude. Whoa, that was a pretty strange looking graphic. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of full here. Um, wait a minute. Ah, but we just melt. So we're gonna go grab our zip disk, and we're actually gonna leave the room and come back in. Um, this will get these enemies out my way. They normally would be blocking the elevator, so we're going to do that. Next one, we can have three different type of enemies. Let's see what we get. Looks like we got uh, the the slow zombies, really good. Next one could be worms or hunters. You know which one we'd rather have, and it's not them. Okay, now we kill them. Oh, I got the, I got the wrong thing out here. Hold on. Okay, now we got them out of the way. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the most infamous puzzle in this game. The one that casually probably gave people the most problem. This is one of those things in the world of speedrunning when you're, when you're playing a game as a kid or casual, you have no clue, but when you speedrun it, it becomes really just free. And we're going to show you how. So, the water table puzzle. Um, what's going on? I see you. If you're on my channel, go to Fat Body's channel. Check the title for the link. So, this puzzle is not as hard as it seems. You have to, you have to arrange the A, B, and C 
um, lines, the yellow, red, and blue ones, to add up to the total in the upper ones. But there's only four possible solutions in this game for this puzzle. And you can figure out what solution to do by looking at the very top line and the white bar in the first two columns. And in those first two columns, there is a, we're going to call this a medium and empty. Okay? By knowing that, you can know exactly how to move A, B, and C properly. Now, medium empty is the worst, one of the worst possible patterns you can get on this puzzle. It requires the most movement. So for medium empty, what we're going to do is we're going to take the A and move A left um, four. One, two, three, and four. Now, for those who are confused, the bottom characters are left, right, uh, play, whatever the, the option to actually make it, you know, evaluate, and then back. So we move that four. We go to B, and we're going to move B to the right two. Then we go back and we choose C, and we move C also to the uh, left two. And now we play it. Casually, just flying them things all the places is not a fun experience. It is. <laughs> you could be there for who knows how long. Yeah, I can't control Fat by his stream, unfortunately. He's, he's capturing my own stream, so, yeah. We're going to call this the ALTTP remake for now. Now that we have that unlocked, uh, it is time to now go to our next required fight. So, coming up is the third of four required fights in the game. On this part, we can just hug the wall. Oh, uh, wait, not that part. Not not that part. Well, with that, those enemies, no, you need to hold to the right. So what we need to do here is we're going to take him out because we don't, want, we don't like him. Wow, so pretty. So we're going to switch over to our freeze rounds here. Um, what I use to beat the boss, um, it's not the fastest... But uh, it's, it's the safest for me. So we're going to insert our zip disk. And uh, enjoy the cutscene. Failing to know what's going on though. How you doing today? So don't forget you all, if you're if you're in fat body stream, specifically in fat body stream, click on that door. If you can and you have a means to do so, we got four people we are trying to help get to um, Summer Games Done Quick 2019. They all have runs in. Alright? You can support helping them get there by either tipping in their in his stream, cheering, subbing, all that good stuff. And it gives you a chance to win stuff in return. We got some cool giveaways, man. Now, in this fight here, we're just going to go around. We're going to hit him three times and then bounce. I said bounce, not, not. Dude, just slap the taste out of my mouth. You got to be careful, man, because he can beat you to death here. He's almost dead. Uh-oh. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> really five hill 50 do you see this dude has no health this dude is literally on zero I mean, seriously. He went to five, went up to 50, went to zero, and still lived. You gotta love this game. Yeah, this is PC. It's a Taiwanese PC version we're playing right now. Yeah, have fun with this game when bosses have negative health and they still live. So, anyway, after that fight, we get this suddenly existing key card and conveniently open door. So, that's one was good. So, of course, you know what's going to happen now. The whole world's about the dog going to blow up, and uh, we go backtrack now. 
Uh, ammo's pretty decent. Alright, so this time we're going to go back. Get a little careful here. I just want to get these two out of the way, actually. So I'm just going to go over here to pick this up. This is full health here. So I'm just going to move this over. And now we want to be safe here. You know what? If you Oh, I'm going to totally get hit. Ooh. I ain't never about face that quick in the game ever. All right, so now we're going to go to this next path here. Use our key card one more time. Hopefully, hug the left wall and not get hit. Oh, they're they're not they're not um they're not they're not cooperating with their placement here. <laughs> yeah, usually you can just kind of just hug the wall there, but for some reason they were they were spanned out like a fool. Hold on, I, I, I'll do that a little bit later since I'm, I'm on someone else's stream right now. I did it earlier already. I don't, don't want to get redundant with it. I got you, though. But it's a repeat anyway. I forgot what it was anyway. Hundo, Hundo P again? Warning. I think they only made like... 20 words of the day and after that that's it no more content so we're gonna we're gonna try our best not to die before we can get to the boss here right be nice but uh one more star trick wiggle and uh it's time for our final fight y'all but here we go so first thing we gotta do is talk to this computer. Check it. Data. Data. Warning. There is not enough power to activate the system. Yeah, I said that man, I said I don't know. I mean I'm running this one after this I'm not sure. So in order to give this thing some power, you have to plug in all the batteries. These two for sure. I don't know if it's, if I'm doing anything else. I got you. I'm not sure what's, who's up next at all. So we have our final phase of Nemesis here. I will. So Nemesis is, is um, mutating. So what we need to do is continue to plug in the rest of the batteries. Now I want you all to pay attention to, to his health. I want you to watch his health. Once you plug in all three of these batteries, um, that rail cannon will be able to be shot to kill Nemesis. Now the earliest possible kill you can get is the second shot of the cannon. In order for the first shot, or the second shot to kill him, I have to have his health under 200. Uh, if it's not under 200, it will not do it. I cannot kill him with my own weapons. Um, his health will just go back upwards. The final hit has to be by the light cannon. So we're going to use all this stuff we got and um, get his health down. And watch our help in the process. So his health is, is low enough now. Now we just gotta get out of the way. Well, that was close. He, he can do a very damaging attack with his back. Um, we can drop 100 health. So we should be fine here. Yep, he's right there. That's so violent. So, poor guy. Hawaiian guy, how you doing, by the way? Hey, I'm Hawaiian, too. I'm literally made of Hawaiian dust. So, now that Nemesis is dead, we shall leave. That's a shocker. So, 
In speed runs, we typically take the bottom option, which is to leave. But when you can't PB, you choose the top option. You want stars? I'll give you stars. We're doing good one. So we give the monster stars, which is finish him off. The option I believe says finish him off. So let's make sure he's dead. Wait for it. You know, you gotta, you gotta make sure. You know, it's like a bad roach. You gotta, you gotta step on a couple times, make sure he's actually completely dead. The fact his insides are made out of grape jelly, though, I don't know what's up with that. Hey, you know what? Let's make sure. Let's make sure he's okay. You never can be too safe with zombies. All right, he's good. Hey, one more. All right. So, with that being said, we go up an elevator ride, we'll get a full elevator ride. Look at those hot graphics. Over here. And there you go, Mel. That is that is Resident Evil 3 for way too many consoles. And now we have a rather unfortunate event. It seems that the president and the federal council have passed judgment over the civilian of Raccoon City. The president and federal council have ruled that the backless terminate operation is the best course of action. Yeah. Whoops. Well, so much of that credits. So, of course, that, you know, that type was like, that fight was actually a timer. You know, if for some reason it took you too long, yeah, you'd get nuked and die. I don't know how much time that is in total, but I'm pretty sure it's at least like 40 minutes, I think. To actually, from the when the countdown first starts, I think it's like 40 minutes to beat the game, so pretty significant amount of time. So there you go, y'all. That is uh, Biohazard 3, as it's known. And because you all asked, Alexa, play the slang word of the day skill. Today's slang word of the day is Hundo P. It means 100%. Here's how you use it in a sentence. Do you want to stay home tonight instead of going to the movies? Hundo P. Let's watch a movie on demand. If you're enjoying your slang word of the day, check out your dictionary Spanish word of the day skill. Find and enable it in the Alexa app by searching Spanish word of the day to start learning. Yep. Yeah. Undo P. All right. Well, there's probably a hundo P percent chance that Fat Body is still asleep. So, um. <laughs> I'll roll, um. I guess I'll just sneak something in that's pretty short. Uh, okay, let's change. Let's switch over. Let's just do something that's really short. Um, uh, oh, here's something cool. Since Fat Body runs Sonic 1, How about some, uh, how about some Kaizo-like Sonic? Never 
we go. How about some Kaizo Sonic? Nice. I was trying to fix my... Here we go. Nice design, right? So you have um, Drop Dash and all this stuff. I'm probably going to mess up, I'm sure. I haven't played this in a while. the gym, yo. How about that, that Sonic and Knuckles? I mean, that, that, uh, Ridley Blast invincibility thing. I just finished RE3. I literally just finished it. Don't worry, if you're watching Fat Body Stream, it still says my game before that. Which was Zelda. I know. Alright, do I remember how to play this level? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I know. Timing fail, right? Fun levels. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Oh boy. I'm gonna put this level here. Please stop. Oh, oh wait, I was supposed to run. I, I forgot what part of the game I was on. Ruined. Ruined. There you go. Now, the boss fight, I'm probably going to mess up on. It's been a minute. I probably will mess this up. Alright. I hope I don't. Hope I remember how to set it up right. Alright. So we hit this. We wait a bit. Wait, I need to get the um the shield. We wait. Okay, we're all right. We didn't die. All right, we didn't die. We did not die. I'm happy. Oh wait, this game is gonna crash later because um, it just, this game doesn't work on certain emulators, so it's gonna crash later. But this should tie us over a little bit. Don't want to see something cool? Don't want to see something cool? I hope. Oh, 
dang it, I messed it up. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, I messed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh well. Shout out to Upshot Down Seals. Wow, really? <laughs> what just happened there? That never happened before. I just wanted the rain. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. broken because you can easily do a zip by just like air dashing and then spin dashing afterwards um Crush hazard, man. Still want to do, dude, I'm already done. Uh, this guy, go back to sleep. Th this guy. So we done beat Link to the Past, we done beat RU3, I done beat Bashi. I'm over here doing a marathon. Over here playing. Oh, he made it. Are we gonna play it again? I'm over here playing Kaizo Sonic now. Gotta go fast. Text you and call you and poke you in the face. When you when you're exhausted, you just die. You, you don't even. Dude, I totally forgot about that. I, I totally forgot about that. All right, where's what I'm looking for? Where's that? Where is that? There it is. Dude, first time played through world record holder. Alright, get on my level. So fussy. What, what? Dude, you were tired. Wow, really? This is bad. Of 
wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong, honey? I mean, that's what happens when your body is, like, exhausted. That's a good thing. That means your human body is working properly. trying to tie some, kill some time. I don't know how much... Ooh, Monka. Oh, oh I'm, in, I'm in the bad part of the game now. Yeah, that's... You have to get out of it, otherwise you're stuck. Yes. Don't worry, Fat Bite. It's, it's actually Thursday now. Want to see something cool? LOL. So who's next, fat body? Wake up, man. Wake up. Someone put some water in his face. Hey, man. Make sure you make sure you support these people to get the GDQ, man. Drop them a dollar or two or ten thousand. Hey, everybody's here at level. Rising water, please. I love this game. Hey, you can actually move fast in water. Who the thunk it? Wow, that's so cheap. I just want to go over there so I can... Ooh, the offerings ran out. No. No. That was my... Oh, I was going to miss it. All right, we're good now. All because I'm trying to take the fast route. All because I want to take the fast route. Here, let me go get this instead. No, I ain't got to worry about it. And true, and true broken sign to breaking music and stuff. You notice the game puts a ton of one ups. Well, I actually got the one up mods. I can't believe that. Wait, did, did he fall asleep? I had, hey, Fat Buddy, who's next, man? Who's next? Fat Buddy. Oh, baby. Casual, casual fleece, and we can do it in our sleep. 
Alright, um, where is that spring at? Where is it? It was right... Okay, there you go. Where's the other button at? Don't get crushed. happening that's so cheap right there black is what long time no saw I know right all right oh my god I did that incorrectly <laughs> well, that's one way to get back up. Alrighty. Hey, man. As long as I got files on my computer, dude, we got about 5,000. In fact, coming up, you know, we're going to do a Sonic 42. Who got time for Sonic 14? We'll do Sonic 42. In fact, bump it. All 2D Sonics. Let's go. Dude, this remix is so sassy. God, I love that. The species part is so good on this track. Dude, I need to really learn this game. I, I, I said I might submit this. It's just so fun to play. You actually know where the heck you're going. Yeah, because you get to hear music that normally doesn't have any speech you tied to it. Hear them drums? Oh god, it's so it's so good, man. The the band geek in me is just going crazy right now. Yeah, none of that mess. Good job, we crashed the game. I told you there was a crash coming. I, I, I told you the game was going to crash at some point. So, yeah, you can't play this game in, in, in certain emulators. Otherwise, so I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope y'all enjoyed the stream. All right, here, let's end, end it on a good note. Yeah. Good, now we can time it. All right, you all. So I'm not sure who's coming up next. I'm sure Fat Body has someone on. It might be him. It might be you. It might be your mama. I don't know. It might be my daddy. It might be your chocolate chip pancake. But, hey, make sure y'all spread the word to get these folk to do some uh, some stuff, man. Got to get these people to, to uh, Big John Con. All right? What you want? What up, what you want? I'm just coming in to give you a little bit of an outro. Thank you for all the hard work you put in. Pub baby. Pub baby, somebody get this man a pillow. Nope, I'm all nice and rested up. Uh, thankfully, to, uh, you know, with you doing that big of a block, I was able to get a fat chunk of sleep. I hope everyone enjoyed all the games that John did. You know, obviously, you've been a phenomenal speedrunner for a long time and a good entertainer. So, it was definitely fun. Especially for the parts that I actually got to see when I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> yeah, that was the first two minutes, right? <sighs> <laughs> and uh, so coming up next, uh, we have Shenanigans. Uh, he's going to be starting off with a um, a Pokemon uh, Red Slash Blue No Safe Corruption uh, Blind. So he's going to be doing that without any vision, so that should be pretty fun. So definitely stick around. Um, we are going to get that set up right now, and we will see you soon. <laughs> 